So right. it looks unprofessional. Um, Doesn't matter. You honestly, you sounded just like um, Reese Shearsmith then. And you went, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I still haven't watched Inside Number 9. It's, yeah, first season's fine. And second's not bad. There's a couple uh, of standouts. There's some people that literally, like, rave about it. Like, they could write a book dissecting why it's you so did, brilliant. Did you like League of Gentlemen? I can't remember. You didn't watch it, did you? I didn't mind it. Oh, okay. I did watch it. It's not as clever as that. <laughs> well, I mean, fucking hell. <laughs> it, it, I think it, it, it's, it is, though. It must be, because these people, I trust these people. First two seasons. But it's just not my cup of tea, because it's always a bit, not vulgar, but there's an element nah. to it. No, sometimes it's not. Sardines is a good one, I think it's the first ever episode. Uh, Domino's Test Card, what are talking about? Johan, people are waving at Johan. And Gareth, Bob, Stuart, Russell Darren, Blair, Russell Blair, Tony Blair's brother. You always make that joke. I made a joke about Blair. Oh, I think he said I always make that joke. Andy Fairchild here. Scott Scott Bogfoot's in. Paul Ibbison. The Ibs. The Ibs Meister. Those said Gareth, I think. Brrr. Bob Canaris. We can hear you. Mm. Mixed Stuart. Blizzard. Stuart's listening to uh, Hanson, I reckon. He's put, mmm, we can hear you. Mmm, bop, ba da da ba da a football reference. Who has? At that Mick. sexy jam voice, yeah, I agree. I've got one of those voices. It's good that they do tell us now. Yeah, it's handy. Uh, run those Just to just ignore it. Right, I'll run the intro. And we are live. Yes. Live. Um, welcome to the new home um, show, chapter sixty-three. Uh, chapter sixty-three. There is us two at the moment. Yes, um, there is. However, we will have a guest joining us all the way from Australia. Whoa! Uh, yes, shortly. Well, not shortly. In a bit. In a while. It's it's five in the morning. Five thirty. How currently. can it be half an hour? It's because I don't know. It kind of splits down to half. No, no, it is half an hour. I promise. Bullshit. Yeah, no, I'm right. Who? Did they? What? They've got half an hour time zones. Yeah, I, I, I am right. We never learned about this in school. Well, I think I, I think they've got them in big countries because we don't have it. The so um, it sounds like a recipe for confusion. I think it is. When you, I think there is half an hour. Who's so, yeah, yeah? I think it's half an hour. I, think it's half I an don't hour. even think we need time zones. What you, what you just think? We just go fuck it. It's it's always <laughs> Thursday nine o'clock all over the world. And if you happen to go to bed at that time or get up at that time, who gives a shit? It's just a mm. number. Yeah, it's a it's not like a maths thing though, isn't it? It's handy. It's, I think it's handy for people. Arbitrary. Obviously, it wouldn't affect us, which would be great. Yes, GMT. Because we are but, zero. Yes, that is the good one. Oh, I'm you. a bit quiet. He was having a go at me as well. Racist. Yeah, but I can't. That's. Uh... <laughs> Ah, maybe I just tried to adjust to you before you fixed it. Ah, possibly. I nearly turned mine down, then I realised I should just turn down the volume in my own headphones. I think I'm spot on according to my screen, so we'll see how that progresses. I've tweaked it. <clears throat> there you go, Scotty Bogfoot, see Canada. They've got half an hour time zones, it's 5.35. I would not put anything past those guys. Well, they're French, aren't they, really? Who lets people speak French in their country? I think they have different bits, but that makes sense. Different bits of French. They're the wrong ones, probably. Why don't they have a fight? don't know. No half an hour time zones in the US, says Corgan. That's true, but to be fair, difficulty with calculators over there, so I understand that. Makes sense. No, I think, um, no, I think America does some things very well. I think they simplify things well sometimes. Of course they do. They don't have a metric and imperial system, do they? I hate the fact they use Imperial. It is pissed. Yeah, but annoying. at least they just use Imperial, and they I, don't have half an hour so time slots. S- and they've they've correctly simplified most of our spelling. Some things are so inaccurate. Like their gauge thing is such bullshit. It's so stupid. They fixed the, m- the word colour. 
No. There's no, no. you in it. No, 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 no. no. Anyway. I like the new room colour. Anyway, that's... <laughs> Sorry. Um... You didn't, did you do the intro? Yeah, yeah. So oh, we, yeah, yeah, of course you did. So Bogan's did. coming on in a bit. We are here. We'll do the usual stuff. Bogan will rock up. We'll grill Bogan like, um, like a, a shrimp. kebab. Like a shrimp. It's Australian. Shrimp on oh, the grill. Oh, should have done a classic, cliche, Australian barbecue reference. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Um, yep. We'll grill him lightly, like a naan. <laughs> They're not grilled either. They're cooked in a tandoori oven. Come on, No, Richard. when you get one get from the supermarket, the... <laughs> you just got to warm it up. Oh, in the oven, mate, for me. In the oven. Uh, What's the time at the never. polls? Da- Daily Walker says that's racist. It's called Poland. Thanks, guys. Yeah, come on. <laughs> um, What did you think about the Cummins thing, John? What? What did you Dominic. think about the Cummins? <laughs> did they the do this? Cummins session. I thought, I thought, I thought it kind of made politics slightly interesting. Um, I think loads of people are lost to what Dominic's coming to job was. I've heard lots of people saying today. I've seen a few people saying he should be in jail. Yet he hasn't broken any code. He's not. A, he's not, not a minister. minister yeah. No, I saw a few people saying uh, he should never have been elected. But he wasn't. Mm. <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's difficult. I think there's a lot of confusion about him. Mm. Like people sort of people seem to think that he is this super geek that manifested out of yeah. nowhere. Yeah. But it, in in reality, he's had a long political career. He yeah. was Ian Duncan Smith's special advisor about eighteen years ago. <laughs> You're ruining it. They said uh, there was quite a good one today. I only got sent the link minutes before the show. That that, that <laughs> one thing that happened from the thing. Um, Cummings said, uh, we won't go political because we'll lose chat, but uh, Cummings said that Hancock had made the target for um, testing and he said he didn't, he, he said today he didn't do that. Somebody sent me the tweet from last April, no, yeah, April 14th where he says the target and says they're going to test everybody who leaves care home. They didn't do that. No. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. That sort of stuff. That sort of stuff bores me because if you've seen the thick of it, which is basically a documentary, not a sitcom. It is at this point. <laughs> no, but, uh, but that is that's close, so close to the truth it hurts. They, they yeah, don't yeah. they are incompetent, they don't plan, they oh, yeah, don't sorry. have a fucking clue what's going on, it's a shit show there's no Malcolm, shock for me to hear that No, Malcolm was based on uh, a communications uh, dude, oh, it, was, it, was, um, it was based on Alistair Campbell. Alistair Duda Yeah uh, yeah, any, but so, yeah, no, no they're lying, I'm not shocked at the incompetence, I'm not shocked at, I, I was I was really shocked by Sage, but let's not get too into that. The, no. the other hot topics of this week's news, in real life, John, um, Wuhan, do you think um, it was a naturally occurring thing, COVID-19, well, that's or do you think the, it came out of a lab? But that's not the argument now. Jam- that's the confusion of the argument. Okay, it was naturally occurring. Interesting, interesting. Because because that question is wrong. <laughs> the question is, did it come out of a lab, or the, or did, did it escape a lab, or was it from the wet market? That's the question. Not, it wasn't artificially created because the markers are there for it not to be. So no, did it? It wasn't created. Is what I'm saying. Was it in the lab? Interesting Maybe. stuff. And then finally, UFOs. Oh fuck! What my do you think face. about these, re- these newly released UFO videos? Well, they can be UFOs because UFO means unidentified flying object. So that's oh, fine. they definitely are UFOs. But what do you make of them? They're Evidence not. Of they're not little green they're, men. They're not from outside of our atmosphere. As in, they're not. They might be out just you outside. Don't wait, believe. they're. They're not. Well, it doesn't make any difference. The you odds are ridiculous. Believe. No, everybody does. I'm not saying there are or aren't aliens in the universe. Are they aliens? No. Interesting. What do you think they are? They're just experimental crafts. Yeah, could well be. Mm-hmm. 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 Very interesting. Okay, that was the news that was. <laughs> uh, what are you vaping? What are you drinking? Every single one of those subjects I could do like 45 minutes on. Just going shit mad. But I won't. Stay tuned to the John and Richard podcast. 
Yeah. Coming soon, where we dissect to the week's news. That would be great. I could, that, that will be good. Right, I'm drinking on um, Ghost Ship, which I've gone back to, because I drank it for like years of doing the show, uh, or doing the previous show. Um, uh, but, yeah, I've gone back to it. It's all right. It's fizzy. It's sessiony, and it? it's 4.2. It's fine. Uh, what is it? Oh, Ghosty. Ghost Ship, yeah. I've got some life and death in the fridge. I think, I think Ghost Ship is the perfect transitional drink for a, 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 lifelong, a, lager, a lifelong to lager drinker yeah, I trying to get them to try a proper beer. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's the perfect stepping stone gateway drug. Yeah, because it's just a bit fizzy for an IPA. Like, and it's, it's, and t- it's just tasty, a bit... but it's not over the top melty mouth. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. It does get it's, the step back's a bit boring because it does taste almost like lager, and you think that's oh, a bit lager. Anyway, I've got. You couldn't go from a proper IPA to that, but you can no, go well, the other way around. I have because I've given it a few days, so I didn't do it. Yeah, I couldn't have them no, here because I, mean I nearly. One day. I mean, one day. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's like if you're on a crawl and you go from one pub to the next, and all they've got is like John Smith's. Like I can't stay. It's impossible. I might have a pint of that. It's fucking yeah, hard. I was in a pub at lunchtime. And the choice was landlord, Timothy Taylor's landlord. That's really John popular Smith. up there, isn't it? Oh, fuck so. That Timothy thingy is really popular up there, isn't it? Well, it's around. I don't know. I don't. I've never seen anyone want it. I've heard it's really popular up there. It's, it's in every pub. Yeah, oh, right. I think you know if you were attached to a big brewery and yeah, you'd buy just by numbers, but no, no one wants it. No. I've got this tiny mod. I don't even know what it is. Oh, here we go. It's got something written on it. The Just Mini. Oh. And I put the thing on top of it. I put the... Look at that. The 7. I put the 7 on top. Any luck with the top cap? Yeah, because I changed it for the plastic one. And that's resulted? Yeah, because there's giving it. You can get it off. You just need a cheeky black mod now. Yeah. It's all right. A little tinky mod. There's a lemon crack in there. And I've got crack current in the MVP5 with the dwarf, dwarf, dwarf whatever, um, 16 on top. Uh, and that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, it's cracking, and it? it's stood the test of time, hasn't it, the dwarf? Yeah, just it's because the draw. That's the problem, though, is the draw is perfect for me. It's like 0.8 or something like that. And I think it's just fantastic. Um, yeah. Uh, what are you vaping? What are you drinking? Okay, so starting off with a punk, but then. But is it a double punk or is it a punk? Just a punk. Oh, because they do the big cans of the double punk. Don't Just they? a big punk. Just a big punk. And then a brand new brew dog. United Planet. United Planet. It's a session hazy. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll be I'll be interested to know if it's got any flavour. Because all their hazies to this point have been too strong. No, because Hazy Jane, they're now doing a five, don't they? And it's rubbish. Yeah. Do you know what this is? I, I, someone can correct me in chat, but I've been informed. This is exclusive to the co-op. So, okay. So I was in the co-op today, but our co-op's shite, so... Yeah, so I think these are obviously there's that makes them very easy to get. There's a co op mm-hmm. in every village, isn't there? Every yeah, village. yeah, yeah, yeah. But um but the only place apparently the only place they're gonna be sold is in the co op. They did that with the they did a flight one, didn't they, with B A. Yeah. It was all right actually. Yeah, and they did a Aldi they did one with Aldi after the debacle with Oh Aldi. yeah, yeah, that was very shrewd of everybody involved. Everyone in the wins thing. there. That was yeah, very, it was a win. They, you can't fall out of you can't fall out of the major supermarket in their game. Um Especially <clears throat> Marks and Spence. <laughs> they just argue back and forth about a cake. Oh, the cat pillar. Yeah, I didn't get that. The whole thing was fucking pointless. Well, I didn't get it because every supermarket has a fake Colin. Yeah, yeah. And so to pick out one, was it Aldi or Lidl? Yeah. They picked out one German one. And then people thought they'd kind of sussed something else. Every time somebody went in Aldi, they were doing things like um, I saw a few people go, oh, walnut whip. Uh, 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 yeah, Terry's going to get pissed off. Everybody go mental. 
But yeah. the Walnut Whips are before that. They're, that's just the brand you know. They've been out for fucking ages. They tend to know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like they went, what? Someone else has made one? Shush. For fuck's sake. Yeah. Um, so that's an actual that's an actual thing. So I'll, I'll crack that open in a short lee. Um, now I'm not reviewing. I've had time to actually sort out my own vapes a little bit. Still have a few Ooh. to fix. I still need to dig out a saver and set that up nice. Um, but I've got my squake back. Nice. Sorting that up. That's on the Reaver from Dovepo. Um, pretty unspectacular mod, but it is the fancy DNA board, uh, which makes it you know reasonable mod. And it it's a good home mod, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Nice Very little good. mod. Uh, and uh, yeah, big fan of the squape. So nice to have the squape back in action. Uh, also, still using this. Still waiting for that coil to die. Okay, which coil's that? It's it's the same coils that are in the boosts, the Geekbait boosts, oh, and okay. all those, you know. Um, but this is the if you just want it in a tank, but they, they last a really good amount of time. And then still the dead rabbit on Matt Cully's mod that we've all forgotten the name of. And in there, uh, just jam raspberry. Yes. And the, the other juice in the others is Graham. Oh. Just at nick.org.uk. Thank you. Mm. So that's all good. That's all good. Um, what do you want first? New stuff or news? Uh, should we go news? We're going. We'll go. We'll go news. So I think it's all depressing. No, it's not all depressing. Yeah, it's pretty depressing. Right. Oh, I was all right. I was weird. I was just thinking, where are those links? So I sent them to you, and I'm already in a conversation with you on Facebook. Yeah, but that's you can just click those, can't you? Yes, yeah, what I'm doing. That's how I do it, son. That's how I do. Um, <clears throat> shall we do? This is from Critical Mass or News Republic. Oh. Do 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 do. Oh, this is quite. The headline is the weak, unconvincing case against vaping. Oh, that's interesting. The first bit is do. You, I don't know if you remember the film. Thank you for not smoking. Thank you for smoking. Sorry. Do you remember that? I do remember it. I don't think I've seen it though. Well, to be honest, I give away the plot right at the beginning. <laughs> uh, I'll just got to read the first paragraph and I'll get into it. Uh, it says in April 1994, the heads. The heads of the biggest tobacco companies testified before Congress that cigarettes weren't addictive. A month later, across the country, a box marked confidential arrived at Dr. Staten Glatz, a longtime foe of big tobacco and a professor of medicine at the University of California, uh, San Francisco. It was the sender had signed his name, Mr. Butts. He found thousands of internal the oc- oc- fuck me. Inside, he found thousands of internal documents from British American Tobacco and its then subsidiary, Brown and Williamson. The paperwork detailed scientific research, public relations strategies, and corporate communications about everything from downplaying the harms of cigarettes to appealing to the next generation of smokers. In a fury, Glatz began photocopying the pages and copied them on CDs. And this would only be the beginning. It was kind of the takedown of Big Tobacco in 1994. And I think Marlborough got the... Uh, Philip Morris got the first action against them. Class suit, I think it was about 98, for cancer. And um, it this kind is, of went on from there. This is going way back. Yeah, they just wanted to kind of feed you in. They just... Uh, they just they're kind they're of spelling... Uh, yeah, they're just a failing paperback writer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Let's get towards the end. Two new books published on the same day this month. Big Vape, The Incendiary Rise of Jewel by Times' Jamie Durham, Durham and The Devil's Playbook, Big Tobacco, Jewel and the Addiction of a New Generation by Bloomberg's Laura Etter. Each relayed this Bloomberg tale. Bloomberg do not like vaping. No, but neither does time and neither does anybody else. And and really, they're being... Uh, they're... they're, they're they're pretending they've had a Damascus moment in it, it, of the same revelation as 1996 by trying to say this that tobacco have got this thing and they're doing this thing and they're not doing this thing. The research so hasn't they been done. By doing? They're not accused. So they're accusing big tobacco of trying to get the next generation of okay. addicts. Okay. So they're claiming that, well, cause they do quite well with Jewel because as we spoke about last week, 
they were doing things like promo parties when they shouldn't have been. They were they were yeah. giving them away to Chicken celebrities. Pox party. Yeah, they <laughs> they were doing as much as they could um, to yeah. get the next generation. Putting really. in baby formula. <laughs> <clears throat> Putting it in nursing homes without testing it. In, injecting um, it into actual breasts. <laughs> and of, really... Of women with babies. It's trying to take away... Uh, the article effectively takes away... the. It takes the onus away from Jewel. Vaping didn't begin at Jewel. Vaping is way past Jewel. Like, and, the, and the research... Is legitimate and independent. It has not come from. So it's the kids then. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's all they've got, and they'll they'll still they'll bang that drum for eternity. I think. Mm. Because it's 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 true. It's the one fucking thing in it. It's the one thing. Like, if If it doesn't come up with anything else, though, does it? Who are the biggest? It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Like Marvel. Like Marvel. The amount of. People just children drink alcohol, but adults pl- fucking watch Marvel films and collect Marvel bullshit. It, but it doesn't nobody goes, nobody does anything about that. It's not a thing. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Things that appeal appeal. It's, it's funny fine. how human logic doesn't apply, or you can gently not bother to think about things in those terms if yeah. money's involved. But it's an odd thing to say. Uh, if something works, it's inherently bad. So if this, we know this works. So therefore, we need to pull it apart and we need to say, yeah, it might work, but kids like. I mean, it's all just so stupid. I, wonder, I can be asked you know, if I wonder if because because uh, if you think about things that only adults are allowed to do, mm. uh, and you think about things that kids do anyway, in spite of that fact. Yeah, so yeah. Got, so you've got cigarettes, alcohol, vaping, and all yeah. of those are things that kids do. <laughs> yep, all of those are things that kids do. Whether you know, no matter what we do, but then you look at things like driving and gambling. And kids don't really get any access to gambling, do they? Uh, some do now. There's a problem with them. What like through what like. Like a gambling app, like you know, because you've got your your, your major. I don't want to name a they bookie don't. here. Uh, no, no. But uh, you know, you've got all your bookies, and they and then you have an app. But it's actually the problem. Well, this is going deep dive. I won't go too deep. No, but if, no, but if this becomes such a thing that we actually well, yeah, need you to could solve it as an industry. Well, we, we know Robo. I can't remember what it's called. I haven't got any kids. What's the Robo? If a kid tried to download the Paddy Power app. Absolutely, but that's register, not. But 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 we are talking about gambling there must be in this. Something in place to stop. Yeah, there is. That doesn't. That's not really what I'm talking about. But you are encouraging gambling with things like uh, that. Well, I can't remember what it's called. This is why I'm trying to get some help from you. What's that app called that kids play? Robo bollocks. Roblox. 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 Those in-app purchases and stuff yeah, like loot that. In crates and all that. That's gambling. There's no way around that. It that is, is gambling. gambling. Yeah. And it does create that illusion that you might you could you know win which is a that's a problem so they do there is a problem with gambling huh. kids no, kids but the no, kids are, there isn't no 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 i'm not sorry there isn't but there isn't a problem with fucking vaping and children either i'm giving you I the just, game what thing. i mean what i mean is the more illegal the, you make something the, the more attractive very you make well it. at only taking bets from adults yes so do the vaping websites need to move to a vaping app that has the exact same technology, and you can only purchase vapes through an app. But you can't, yeah. Okay, or go can. into a shop. But that's where we are. You could, if you can, if you can use a, a, a if you could buy. How vaping, are the kids getting them? They're going in the shop. They're going in a normal shop and getting a jewel. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. No excuse. I don't know how they get how they get them. Yeah, that is. They're, they're, well, them well, well, they normally well the parents get them, and the parents could log them in to Betfair if they wanted to. Yeah, they'd uh, they'd, they'd have as much chance as me of getting it right. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's, it's it's parents and children. You know? I just don't know. I know it's. I know that really this shouldn't be a conversation because really it should be up to the parents to sort it out, etc., etc. 
But yeah. I, but there are th- the, the the bookies have done a really good job of ring fencing. It's not attractive, is it? It's not attractive like it is with the. That's the problem, isn't it? It's not. Yeah, I suppose the desire isn't cool. strong enough to find a way, or maybe it's something we're just not aware of. Yeah, I think it's not fashionable. Like, well, I, I think, think you everyone. Have, do you have to be an adult? To, do you have to be an adult? Do you, it used to be, the, you have to be an adult to own a credit card. You do. You can't get anything. So they couldn't they move it to all vapes are purchased on credit card? I can't remember someone would have to help with a debit card. Is a debit card 16? When I was 16... No, you know you can get a debit card under... Solo. Solo. But they don't work anywhere. No, no. Several debit cards now you can get at 16. What, a Visa? I th- there's certain, a lot of debit cards you can get at 16. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. And there's prepaid debits as well. And Yeah, true. Uh, but credit card, if, so if you, yeah, so but if why you the fuck would literally you... put that up and just said, I haven't got a credit card. On a credit card. Then you could get card. one. Yeah, but I want one. Oh, right, well, we'll all... But that's what PayPal was for. <laughs> yeah, so but that's what, that, that's what PayPal card. was for, because PayPal, why don't they just put the age restriction on PayPal then? Be 18. But how does PayPal know how old you are? Because uh, you... Uh, you have to register your bank account with it, don't you? And it verifies your bank account. So they do know how Does old it verify you. your age against the bank account? Yeah, it does, yeah. Your okay, information cool. has to correspond. I don't know. I just, it's, for, for me, it just seems... It, I don't know... But now like, PayPal have pulled away. So it's like, fuck! It's, is... it, seem, I just, it seems like technology should have the answer to this. World pay is, a, is, a, is like... Uh, you know, it's an open goal. Because... Their, their, their guarantee is rubbish for consumers, not for the retailers. For the consumers. Next. You can oh, get a pilot okay. license 14. Yeah. Um, own company. So, can you get a pilot license 14? Yeah, you can. Do you have a tractor as well? Yeah, um, of course. Most of uh, In the war, most pilots were about 11. Apart from that one with no legs. He's definitely down the road. Douglas Barder. He yeah. took off down the road. Shit at football. He used to dance in the place I used to own. Like yeah, run. He, didn't. he did on his on his wooden legs. Lucky Gurky. Oh, he did have wooden legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, nothing else. Um <clears throat> Yale News. Ban you'll be blown away by this. You'll go like, what the fuck? Ban on flavour vaping may have led teens to cigarettes, studies suggest. I've always said this. When San Francisco voters overwhelmingly approved a 2018 ballot measuring the measure banning the sale of flavoured tobacco products, including menthol cigarettes and flavoured vape liquids, public health advocates celebrated. After all, tobacco poses a significant risk. But a new study at the Yale School of Public Health say that the law says that the law may have had the opposite effect. An analysis found that after the ban's implementation, high school students Odds of smoking conventional cigarettes doubled in San Francisco relative to trends in districts yeah, that's, without that's the ban. The aim. Yeah, to drive it back. That's to the aim of banning flavours. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the study's author said these findings suggest we there's a need for caution. Yeah, definitely. It's so short sighted. I mean, to get it in under three years that you've got to that where it's become a plane that you were stupid I don't even know I what to do with it but I I think it, it's this thing about we need to accept that kids can do stuff mm. it, kids kids can get their hands on booze and they do get their hands on booze and they have <laughs> booze well, even so as much as we them, do do you want them to have a can of shandy mm. or a whole bottle of vodka it's madness when they I when people because I you hear people talking about like I remember it's not so much now but five or six years ago maybe longer eight years ago people were talking about oh a lot of people are binge drinking fucking hell you all are don't be twats it, that's just a you just made a thing up um, and when we were kids I any old bollocks drink. <laughs> yeah but it was any old bollocks I remember you don't. drinking your bottle of art you don't you don't I'm quite good yeah I can have a couple you're, of cans you're, in the you're evening casual. Yeah, I'm not, I don't do the binge. But um, if I'm having a couple, I'm having eight. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you... it's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. Okay. If you've got a bottle of, oh, yeah, I can be. Yeah, 
I think I think it's my wife's influence. <laughs> it's not up to me. If it was up to me, I'd be. No, you I'd can control bit, yourself. Bin with a <laughs> with a Mad Dog Twenty Twenty bottle. Go fuck it out. Um, yeah, as you say, but they made to make something. They made, literally made it impossible. Well, it's not inviting at all anymore. That's oh, so stupid. It's so near sighted. I so don't mind. Dumb. I don't mind. Well, the banning of flavors, I think, is dumb as shit. Yeah, but I mean, that's what you expect. People are going to fucking smoke. It's a. It's a. All that report shows it's achieved its goal. The back of company's chuffed a bit. Uh, what is the that's so that's Yale on the top of the game. That's Yale kicking ass. We're now going to the Slough Observer. If you googled that, if you googled Yale, there'd be a, just as many surveys they've done that prove vaping's horrific. Well, I will say that's been picked up by everybody else, but it's just been so I didn't want to read everybody else. So daily, the Daily Mail have picked that up. Um, uh, the Sun have and the Mirror have as well. Yeah. So it's like that, it that obviously still gets clicks in the UK vaping related news. Yeah, that's clear. That's in the Daily Mail that they they may have been wrong. It's like you every week you print garbage, so fuck off. But uh, anyway, we'll go to Slough, the... you say? Slough. There's a paper company in Slough. Great one. Mm. Um, Dunder Mifflin. Dun... <laughs> <laughs> what was the one from the English one? I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, no, uh, Wernham Hog. Wernham Hog. Wernham Hog, Taylor Clark. It's, this is probably it, Wernham Hog. This Slough and um, South Bucks Observer is probably printed on uh, Wernham Hog paper. <clears throat> Slough, John Betjeman, not a fan, but Slough has one of the highest quit smoking rates in the UK. <clears throat> Slough is among the top 10 areas across the UK with the highest quit smoking rate a new study has found. This is worth it for it's the figures. distant from London and Reading, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's a great song, as well. Uh, according to the latest data from Public Health England, Slough is one of the, has one of the highest quote sm- smoking. One of the highest quote. The quit smoking rate. Quit smoke. Quit sorry, it says it says have quote. To, it says quote. Smokers quitting. It says quote smoking rats. What? They because they made an error on the uh, paper a little bit lower yeah, down. Typo. Also, no one's noticed the highest quote smoking rats in the country, with a total quit rate, which they got right, of four point four three percent. England's average stop smoking rate is one point eight one percent. That's so shit, isn't it? Data collected by Vape Club as part of the World Health Organization's World to Know Tobacco Day on twenty uh, sorry in May twenty twenty one. That's where they collected this. Uh, the most offending regions were Great Yarmouth. Not, uh, I understand that. With almost a quarter of the population of Great Yarmouth smoke, 23.31. Fucking hell. Uh, Hastings at 22.18. Kingston upon Hull, 21 point, uh, 21.6. Um, that's an amazing thing. It's fantastic to see organisations such as Public Health England and the NHS embrace, embrace the public health breakthrough. What do they specifically vaping. put it down to in Slough? Vaping. No. The quit smoking rate. This is from. Why don't forget, this is written by Bait Club. I, 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 I think it's. I, to be honest, I think it, they don't. Sorry, that's not true. I think it's. Is it uh, ridiculously higher? Is it yeah. a statistical anomaly? No, it's ten. It's ten times higher. Ten times higher in Slough than anywhere else. Great Yarmouth. No, no, there's two, there's there's the top 10. So everything's broken down. The worst offenders being Great Yarmouth. There's 10 times more people smoking Great Yarmouth. I can only smoke Slough. But I would imagine there's some really, really good vape shops. I think you'll probably find it's economics, is that it's quite. I I didn't want to say that. (laughs) But it is true. Great Yarmouth is not a very rich area, and Slough is. Slough's bad, isn't it? Well, no. No, 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 no. It's the other way around. What you think the rich people are vaping? No, I think I think poor people are smoking. I think poorer people are smoking. You don't have to quit smoke if you never started. That's why the statistics doesn't don't really make any difference. There's a greater number of quitters yes. per capita because there's yeah. a greater amount of smokers per capita. Yeah. No, they're not even smoking to begin with, so it doesn't make any difference. No, to have a quitting rate. 
Oh, but I don't even understand it. Yeah. I think it's because they've checked at another time and checked now because the 1.81 is how many smokers there are. So two in 100, basically. Two in 100 smokers. Yeah. And in Great Yarmouth, there's 26 in 100. Wow. But that doesn't mean there's been more quitters. That means there's been less if, Unless they did a previous thing. Highest quit smoking rate. Worst offending region. Yeah. I, I got... tell you what, though. I tell you what. I tell you what. For a, I tell you this for a fact. Go. Let's go. Fact time. Having a really good vape shop in your I'm local area make, does make a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, you, you can go. I uh, I work in an office in a village outside Leeds, and there is a disproportionately high amount of vapors in that village. Because there's a really great vape shop in that village, um, and if if you go two villages over, no no decent vape shop, more smokers. It's, that's purely my that's uh, anecdotal, uh, but I've seen that time and time again in places I've been. It does seem to be based on this statistic that well, I said they're not, but they must have had a previous statistic to measure it against. So if they measured it at so for that to be a statistic, it must have been higher in Yarmouth before, and now they've checked it again, and it's not changed. And in Slough, it must have been X amount, and now it's 1.8. Yeah. But that's the sort of stuff. I mean, yeah, I think it's social economic and all that. And like you say, but it's, it's good, though. It's good, though. But I don't see, don't think it holds too much. Significance. The UK is uh, the UK's on target, I think. Yeah, think we the are. The UK's on target. Whenever I've been, when we've been, we were in New York like six years ago, and it was weird how many smokers there were. Like it was. Yeah, it stands. I, out, I don't. Re- it? I don't remember it being like that. And like every other person's got a fag on. Uh, but also, it snowballs because mm. it's a lot of it's to do with social acceptability and stuff. Yeah. So you go to a big pub in town. And you go to the beer garden bit. If you when you get to the point where there's more vapors than smokers, yeah, it, it encourages the smokers even more. Yeah, and we have it is it was, strive for normality, isn't it? Strive for general consensus. In it, when we lived in Felix, though, a lot of the working men's clubs, what you would deem a working men's club, is uh, allowed vaping. So the dock club, which is, or if you're if you work at the dock, you you can be a member, and they allowed vaping. A lot of people drinking there. It's disc, you know, it's lower yeah, price than the drink. Um, the British Legion allowed vaping. Mm. Um, Labour Club allowed vaping. So even now, so inside. Yep. I don't know if that's allowed. Yeah, it is. Fair you can vape indoors. So you say it's down to the establishment. So they let them do it, and oh, like that they oh, probably it's council save, buildings, isn't it? Yeah, they so probably even, save so people's lives. Buildings. But can you imagine? So you know, if you've got a thousand members of a social club and you say, "Yeah, vaping's fine." The smokers are all going going outside in the fucking cold, and you're going to make bank if you put some vaping stuff behind behind the. Um, I'm counter. surprised more haven't done that trick. You'd be mad not to, wouldn't you? Fucking idiot. Because the post office, the post officers, do quite well on dual stuff. Uh, here they don't. They sell. Oh yeah, you're not saying. You're saying. Do you saying dual? The in, in West Yorkshire. Oh, they All here. The they... post offices have jewel stuff. What's the what's the Benson Edges one? Hi, hi. Vipe, vipe. They do vipe here, and they do well on that. So I'm surprised, but again, like I say, a pub. You get one barman that knows about it. Why wouldn't you as well? If you own it, if it's a free house, you're a knob. If you don't let them do it, you're a uh, knob. Ah, uh, no, because you want non-smokers, non-vapers to enjoy their you, time. It doesn't, it doesn't smell. Oh, I just think it's stupid. No, but no, no, stupid. some people don't like it. Anyway, what's the next one? Uh, and the next one. Oh, right, we are running out of time. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go to new stuff. Because okay. the other last one, it was if we need it, and we don't. I just put if we need it. Fair enough. Okay. Bang. Right. Um, i tell you what. I'll tell you what about this new stuff. There ain't a lot of it. The slowdown. That's, that's good. The slowdown is real. Like this, this speculation, oh, no. <laughs> this <is> speculation <laughs> that there's that there's less new products hitting the market. It's China in the last three months, 
and I, I've got to say it it looks to be true it looks to be true and if you uh, most people watching this will presumably be subscribed to several vape reviewers and if you scroll down your feed like I was looking at, <clears throat> excuse me I was looking at um, Mike vapes for example who mm -hmm. is built his whole channel really on the newest newest stuff you know pumping out reviews new new stuff new stuff new stuff if you look at his um, he's got the Arbiter Solo um, six days ago I, I've had that for two months uh, the right. RAF we showed that about two, about a month and a half ago um, he's got the Vinci 2 we showed that th about four weeks ago uh, it's all stuff the Z50 god I've had that two months <laughs> you know it's and this is all um, this is all stuff that he, and usually he's the latest, greatest. You know, literally as soon as you've heard about it, he's got his video, um, which is great. But there's there's def. What I'm saying is there's definitely a slowdown of new products. Um, but I don't really know why. Um, other, all I can think of is there's a natural hesitance to release stuff while it's so unclear how America's unfolding. Exactly. I, I I could I guess it's that. Or I don't know because because you I, you hear statistics like America only makes is already rescinded to the point where it only makes up twenty percent of the purchasing power. Like Malaysia is much crazy. bigger, and there's no issues in Malaysia with it. So I, I, I'd be surprised if a twenty percent disinterest. The, at, I wonder if they're it. watching the markets as well. But I don't know if there there's a huge prediction there's going to be a double. Uh, America is going to get slammed. Their market's going to crash in the next. Where are we now? I'd be really mate? interested to know what the chat thing. If chat have noticed a lack of new vape products, or whether there's still enough that they haven't noticed because they're not don't have their finger on the pulse to that extent. They think the crash is expected in the next twelve weeks, isn't it? I think uh, ish. The, the double. Dip. The way the way I get the new stuff for this section is I literally go through alphabetically every single vape company's Instagram. Wow. And then I go through YouTube and look for the ones I've missed from reviewers I'm subscribed to. And there's, uh, there's about 40 companies that haven't released a product in the last six weeks. Wow. And nice. if you roll back two years ago, most companies was at least every other week. Mm. Uh, it's incredible. so. Is there's definitely something I I genuinely don't know what this, what has caused this hesitancy to release new stuff, or maybe people have noticed that's not the way to do it. Um, the more successful companies don't actually release that much stuff. I don't know, with the exception of Smock, um, which have always been furious. But you know, Inican don't release that much. They do well. Yeah, they've done. They've had some not. They've done themselves. They've done quite well in the last six months. So. Uh, so I don't know. So I don't know. Uh, so I've got some. New, I've got some new stuff, but incredibly low. Compa oh, like, to, compared Todd's, to Todd's you know. reviews is in chat, and he said, "All oh, kicked off again this week. Quite a lot of new stuff and interesting gear well, coming." Well, that's re that's good to hear. So maybe there's been a bit of a lag while everyone figures out how they want to do it, and Mark will Mark will be two weeks ahead. He, so if he's seeing it now in a couple of weeks, there'll be a, a mountain of new stuff. Um, We've got. So yeah, I won't even. Did you get the EVL? Did you get the EVL tank? I saw. I saw it. I saw it. On we'll, have to, we'll have to feature it. We'll have to feature it. Soon. Yes. Well, I'll remind me, and I know. Yeah, that's that. I should have. Um, Home comforts, by the way, says. Didn't the big Chinese hardware maker also get hit with a massive tax increase recently? At a big tax increase. Also, their share price like halved. Wow. Just... But I don't see how that would cause them to slow down actual production. I get, I, you know, it, it'll hurt shareholders, but ultimately the people working there still crack on. I don't know. Um, so the first one is the um, Aspire Box, which we talked about before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this is out out now. I, I'm not seeing it. I, I, I was expecting this to be big news, you know, like literally hand checks left, right and centre. Have you seen much about the box? No, <laughs> not at all. I was really expecting this to be like the um, <coughs> mix. Mix when that yeah. hit. When that hit, it was literally Handcheck City. But once you've got, but the thing is, is because it's not. 
it's an investment, isn't it? If you've got a borrow and the bits inside, you're fine. But you can't do it. It's like a billet box. Maybe it's just our group because you've already got a billet box. But the atomizer is 100 and, you know, a, a billet box atomizer is like 100 quid. Yeah. So perhaps that's it. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure. I've got like, I'm, I'm I don't know. that these aren't. So if anyone's got one in chat, how they're getting on with it? Um, mm. Why? Why? Why is no one else? Got it's one? in pre-order. Two, three weeks out is what Christmas. Oh, so there's. Oh, this, so there is a delay. Okay, it was. It was supposed to be out now. Oh, so there's a delay. There's been. A delay. Uh, it's good if you, I've got like ten billet box atomizers, so it's fine. It w- I think yeah, grab one. Might as well. I can just run to it once then. Yeah. Uh, it be become the new pub. <laughs> You're getting hammered now, Mick Blizzard. It's not on sale yet. Uh, Derry says vaping biker done a review on what the box on that on the box on yeah the, box. the reviews are there but I'm not seeing I'm not seeing normal people with them in their hands and it sounds like it's because it's been some sort of production mm. lag uh, this is properly brand new brand new 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 this is uh, signature tips or signature mods okay. <laughs> mic vapes um, and it is the latest clutch this is a dual eighteen six fifty. Uh, Parallel I, mech. I, 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 where maybe it'll go. I think they're going to struggle. But it'll do all right. You know, they they did the the first one they all did was the twenty one seven hundred clutch single twenty one seven hundred mech. Um, everyone was blown away by how good a job Dovpo did at making it seem exactly like Signature Mods's version uh, and affordable, obviously. So. This is the latest. This is another one. Signature nor- uh, normally signature tips. We're waiting for. It's normally expo, isn't it? You kind of like bang. Yeah, they love to. Yeah, out. yeah, they're really big. So it is a shame they? to not have them there. You know, not do that this year. Yeah. But uh, I think, I think if you if you like, I I love a dual parallel Mac. Um, I like the extra battery life. I like that it doesn't sag as much. Mm. Uh, so I've always really liked this this style of vape. I think it'll do all right. Um. It's the first thing since retiring that, that uh, I got offered and was actually disappointed to say no to. Um, oh, but I won't uh, review it. Can I have it anyway? No, I didn't. I didn't dare say that. But but um, I think well it, well we'll see we'll see if those appear. Um, Digi Flavor have got a few things on on the way out. Their drop RDA V one point five. If anyone chat knows what they've actually upgraded from version one to one point five. Because looking at the deck, it's the exact same thing. Um, so that'd be interesting to know. I, I think it might just be quality control tweaks. Uh, but a very popular RDA back in the day, the Drop uh, V1.5, the drop, the new Drop Solo is on the way as well. Uh, very popular RDAs. Um, so that's Digi Flavor. There's a tank as well coming up from Digi Flavor. Oh, I can see that. Uh, this is the uh, Aspire Rear. Um, we showed it like a tease picture a couple of weeks ago. This they're actually now doing the pictures with um, info, so it is as we speculated shockproof, like all the geek vape stuff. Uh, centered five ten, two hundred watts, uh, and it's um, it's not very aspire like. Uh, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. You will just in a second, but it's it's, it's not super aspirey in a way. But I think um, I think it'll be a solid performer. Ooh. Our Australian is just waking up his kangaroo. He's going to ride off to his uh, vape bit. Oh, very good. Um, I can see it now. It's very rugged. I don't hate that. You see, you can get away. You know, you say that's a centre 510, mm. but where the fuck else would you put it? Yeah, that makes yeah, perfect yeah. sense. It's when it's a twat, when it's like this, <clears throat> with it centred, there's nowhere for your chin. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When I'm here, there... There's yeah, no, that's fine. He's yeah. fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, not really our cup of tea as such, but it probably. I don't. I don't probably, have that. Probably a solid performer. <laughs> we've shown this mod a million times, but we've never actually shown it in real life. This well, is that's the not... Kugo Vape. Uh, this <clears throat> Kugo Vape mod that we <laughs> that we uh, it's the Loki, I think it's called. Um, and I. I still think it's a really smart looking. I've no idea what that tank is, by the way. Uh, it's a really smart looking mod. I still think it is a really smart looking mod. Um, and so that's an actual, oh, yeah, I can see it. actual real. That picture's real. That's a re- that's the real mod in action. 
uh, not a render. <laughs> no, the last one was a render, wasn't it? That I, that thing. But um, uh, I still think it's a smart. I don't hate that. Yeah, I think I, I could see. I, I do feel I'd beat the shit out of it, but yeah, but it's cheap. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I don't is... know why is the fire button there uh, anyway. Oh, well, we're comfort, comfort in it. You know the old fun fire, or there was the uh, they did uh, there was an alien alien o mod or something that was popular with that button placement. So maybe they're piggybacking that. Uh, this is the Torch RTA from Digiflavor. This is brand new. Uh, I do have a. That's what the tank looks like. It looks like a sub tank, but it is an RTA. Um, I do have a picture of the deck, and it oh. looks very, very furious and cloudy. Light up, light up the flavour. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Torch RTA. That's a. They're just light, light, for the name. light up the flavour. Light up your face. Um, yeah, so it looks really cloudy. It's the old uh, sort of not dead rabbit, but dead rabbit esque deck. Oh, uh, okay. It'll be really, cl really cloudy if you like that sort of thing. It's like a pared down um, dead rabbit. Isn't it? Yes, I think um, uh, Fagan did a, an, an RDA like this. I think mm. that's some bad coil building. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Weird, but, but you do get a good idea for what style of tank. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's back. just like it's just wanky <laughs> that janky back coil. Like, yeah. done like that, you fucking idiot. And that is it. That is all the new stuff, and that's how shot it is. So like literally nothing from Inikin, nothing from Tofo, nothing from Vandy Vape, nothing from Eleaf, nothing from Wismec, nothing from Vaporesso, nothing from Smock. It, the list goes on, you know. Uh, and like Mark says, it sounds like it's it's kicking off now. But uh, there was a real delay that the real delay in the market of about eight weeks uh, where no one seemed to want to. Put anything out, which is interesting. Very interesting. Not I wonder sure, if not Sam's much. having to get his vape and stuff like hidden in salmon and stuff. Like, yeah, if, well, Sam. Fishmonger turned up and goes, "There's, there's the salmon." Wink, and then you kind of open it, and it's got. Yeah, all stuff and well, we don't know how he's getting it, but he, but he does get it from a lot of different places. So he probably, has, he's probably got a, a review queue as long as his arm. Um, but yes. Oh, slight update on the stuff. Trying this now. Oh. What's uh, that? It's got anything to it. From punk to this. Oh, is it tasteless? Well, compared to that, it's a, that's really tough, isn't it? They do that a lot. I shouldn't, it's have, like, I shouldn't have. I should have had this then. The punk. What's the donkey one? You can't go to that. You can't go back. Dead to Dead pony. It. Dead pony. That's it. If you go to a dead pony, you just go. Ugh. No, you have to. Yeah, you have to start on it. I actually it's think it's dead. okay. I actually think this is okay. It's perfectly pleasant. Um. Yeah, but if you like the really strong hazy ones they do, this isn't like that. You know, you can't expect a weaker yet same as that. Mm. Um, I'd, bl I'd blow my taste buds. I could, buds drink, I could drink this. I could happily drink this at a barbecue or something. If I had a life and death right now, I'd blow my taste buds out, I reckon. Yeah. After yeah. this ghost ship. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> true. Uh, so that that's about uh, yeah. Like I say, if anyone knows, if anyone knows why China have had an eight week holiday, yes, they're just chillaxing. They're trying to work I'm all, out how I'm to. I'm all for it if it's for a good reason. They're trying to mix a pangle with a bat. It's funny that we're this far into the pandemic and still people going. If they didn't eat bats, they don't eat bats. Well, in those wet markets, they're not bats. That's why <laughs> they don't have bats. Don't worry about it. It's not a bat. Ozzy Osbourne ate a bat. Not on purpose, then. Yeah. No, it wasn't. On stage, wasn't it? Yeah, it flew at him. But he did, he thought, and the audience had thrown it. So he grabbed whatever it was, because he thought the audience had thrown it, drew it down, pulled it, and did that. But he didn't know what was coming uh, towards him. He thought an audience member had thrown something, because <laughs> they were always throwing shit Do you remember stage. his description of what it was like? Then they say it tasted, it tasted like something in a wet flannel on it, wasn't it? It was a, a crunchy in a in a, a chamois. That's it. That's quite good, I reckon. I reckon that's probably pretty close. Oh. If you were doing a review. Man, a he would have been smacked off his tits, weren't he? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He didn't know about it. Oh, can you imagine when they kind of go, I think he might be Luke getting old, he's lost his mind. How the fuck would you tell? Uh, he seems a nice guy, though. Yeah, pleasant enough. I can Kept his accent. <laughs> Don't know, Shannon. Don't know what that was. Scottish. That was Noddy Holder. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I went a bit scouse. I've been doing impressions of Andy Burnham this week. That's been my thing to annoy my friend. Right. Like he's not from Manchester, but my impression of Andy Burnham is basically Noel Gallagher going, going, um, yeah, steer Keir Starmer's like really rubbish, but like if you get me there, I'm your man. Flip flop, flip flop. That's it. <laughs> I like gays. I don't like gays. Come on, get me there. Like that's been my impression of him. I, every time my friend's Toby, he's very nice, but I, he is a. I've uh, I, I was regularly uh, accused in the comment section of reviews of because of my droll. Well, what of being Andy Bird? No, of uh, of sounding like Gary Barlow. <laughs> oh yeah, he's really boring. It's wrong, Gary, no, wrong, you're not like wrong side of the Pennines, but yeah, uh, yeah. But I suppose to an untrained ear, like a foreign ear. There's probably what? not that much difference between me and Gary I used Gary to be able to do Barlow. an impression. Yeah, I used to do an impression of Gary Barlow when he did sports, um, uh, what's it called, sports relief. Yeah. Because they picked the perfect thing to do for him. And he'd be like, there you go, so hopefully we're going to walk up Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> yeah. When Robbie left, he was down <laughs> yeah. to four. It's, it's very similar to sort of the... It's the, really uh, droll. The tank engine narrative. Really boring. Yeah, when they kind of go, well, now we're going to go to Gary Barlow. And it's like, oh, fucking hell, he's so boring. <laughs> I can't remember who they'd got walking up Mount Kilimanjaro. But there was like those of them. They'd go to Gary. He didn't get vertigo sickness, but everybody else did. Oh, loads of people have kind of dropped out, but I'm still going. Of course you are, Gary. Of Ringo, course you are. Ringo style, wasn't it? The, oh, that. <laughs> they did the Thomas. Thomas, was. you've caused confusion and delay. <laughs> he did. He did this really. Fun, I don't know if you remember it. Really, but like when social media first started kicking off, he 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 was sort of. They nobody really knew it was going to do anything, especially Ringo. So he used to make these weird blogs in the garden, yeah. where he'd kind of go. He'd say. Uh, things like because uh, every Beatles impression is really Ringo. Let me just get. Let me just summon a bit of a Beatles impression. He'd say, Which uh, Beatles? Okay, doing? well, basically they're all the same because it's not really a really Beatles voice. It's kind of Ringo, and he'd go, "I'm in the garden. I'm looking at the roses. There's a lady called Sophie who keeps sending me letters, and I just want to say, Sophie, calm down. <laughs> I don't need to hear from you every three days. He, he it's did, too much. He did a massive video, didn't he? <laughs> Give it a rest, and then he always ended the same way. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace yeah. and love. He officially told. <laughs> He, he officially did a thing saying he's not answering any more fan mail, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. and, and that yeah. went viral. That was that was ended with peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. When he kicked all the drink and drugs, not, not that long ago, like 10 years ago, he just went around apologising to everybody. Danny Baker interviewed him and he went, Danny was like, uh, you know, ah, oh, well, yeah, really nice to see you. I mean, we kind of know each other. Uh, do we? Yeah, 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 I came to interview him. We went to the pub and then I went back to your house and we did an interview. Oh, was I a bit of a dick? Yeah, he said, you're not allowed in my house, you little bastard. <laughs> and we kind of went from there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, it's just really messed up on drugs and drink and stuff. Sorry about that. <laughs> peace and love, peace and love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's that. Why are we talking? What was, what, where do we start? I'm trying to just string this out. <laughs> this is called Fella. <laughs> yeah, but why, how did we get onto this? Uh, we were talking about Carrie Barlow. We no, were talking oh, about, Andy oh Burnham. I was talking about Andy Burnham. But like, Andy Burnham. It's different, though. There's a, oh. there's, there is a big difference between. Oh, and Andy Burnham is not really Mancunian. He's kind of lived in London for years. It doesn't sound like that at all. I, yeah. I don't like Andy Burnham. I think he's a twat. He's disingenuous. Yeah, he's really disingenuous twat. Although, you know, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's. He, he, he looks, yeah. He did a speech a little while ago where he said, "He said I want to have I want to have our own minimum wage in Manchester." That's not in your job description, dickhead. Don't worry about it. We're going to do this. No, you're not. <laughs> I've read your job description because it's online. <laughs> you can't do that at all. Enjoy. Your but your job is basically ceremonial. Go and stand outside and shout stuff again. We're not going to close the city. Closed. Thanks, Andy. Go on then. COVID, put your COVID hat on. Right. It's on. It's always on. Permanent. Where Where do we go from here? Well, we're now currently... Are we, uh, will we ever lock down again? Well, he's now changed his mind, doesn't he? Well, he's. It, oh, the BBC were forced to change their headline earlier, uh, where the headline said, um, PM 
says we likely won't have to change the 21st of June. And then it changed. And then the headline changed. Quite weird. Um, <clears throat> 45 minutes later, the headline read, PM, very cautious, and says things could well change. Uh, well, <clears throat> they quoted him directly, though, didn't they? They said yeah. that there's it, it nothing in the data yet. Yes, but now that they changed the onus on of the sentence and changed the headline, like, yeah. so the headline read one and they flipped it. So we're twenty six percent up on last year. We're now at the highest rate since the twelfth of April. But the hospital admissions and deaths haven't gone up. But Bolton's nearly got a full ICU. Lots of people don't understand what an ICU is. Only something I found out recently. <laughs> How many ICU beds do you think there are? It's just general, which covers two hundred thousand people. That's right, twenty. It's not what people think. You can't do an operation without an ICU bed. It, that's not how it works. Yeah, you're it, not it, supposed it, to have twenty more than twenty no. cars crashing into a wall at the same time. No, it's problematic. So yes, yay! We ran out of filler. <laughs> <laughs> he's here. It's six thirty a.m. <laughs> and he's here. Live from Australia. I hate you so I'm much. so <laughs> sorry as well, Bogan, because I got you up twice, Sam, because I fucked it up with the day thing as well. You got the time right, which is better than some of you other fucking idiot poms over there. I tell you <laughs> what. But the day you got wrong, which I should have known. I should have known that I, you probably I, meant Friday. I did, I did half blame you and myself. <laughs> How are you, Sam? I'm good, mate. I'm not bad for 6.30. How, how about you, boys? How are you, Richard? We are good. Yes, we're good. We are good. We were um, we were debating what you did after your rude awakening yesterday. Did you just Went go straight, straight back? back, back yeah, good, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to say that, even if I fucked his whole day up now, just out of politeness. No, I just went straight back to fucking bed. I was like, oh, well, actually, well, I'm kind of, kind of, or, yeah, I was just glad that I could go back to bed. I really didn't yeah, care so, that yeah, much. It's, it's a weird win, but a little win. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, a strange one. It's almost yeah. like that. You know when you wake up and you think it's the, well, it's not really a thing now because I work from home and I kind of decide what I do, but you know when, when I did have a regular job and you'd wake up on a Saturday and you'd go, oh, fuck, I'm late to work. And then you go, oh, wait, no, it's Saturday. Yeah. And then you go, oh, yeah, it's such a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> I was really hoping to get away with that exact feeling this like last night. Because <laughs> when he messaged, I was like, Sam's, Sam's, <laughs> Sam can't wait to see me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <clears throat> we, uh, we we drifted. We were drifting onto COVID talk just before you came. What? Oh, that's strange for John John to be drifting onto COVID talk. But <laughs> well, that's not my. But they don't see that. They don't see that. Like Sam Sam's in the the TikTok video, so we know and do, do that all the time. I, I find those hilarious. <laughs> what COVID is, idiots? What, what, what is, like what is the them. status where you are though? What's the, where well, it's you? interesting that you bring that up because it's been, you might be aware, it's been relatively chilled for us um, yeah, yeah. the last year. We've yeah, had like little outbreaks. Yeah, we'll have like little outbreaks where you'll get um, like less than 50 people will get in, infected. And they'll lock, you know, before, the, before it gets even that, they've locked down the city for a week uh, or three days. I think they did in Perth. Actually, they had a three day lockdown here in Adelaide once. But it then kind of gets back to normal because they get it under control really quickly. And, you know, I've been going to my local, you know, football teams games for the last six months with, you know, you wear a mask into the stadium, you wear a mask when you're getting a beer, but you don't have to wear a mask when you're sitting down at your seat, which is, yeah. which is pretty awesome. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty normal. And you've got the normal crowd we would have there. Granted, it's only about 8,000 people each game anyway, but still that's a, a normal game for us. So it's all pretty normal. Um, except Melbourne at the moment's just gone into a seven-day lockdown because they've got about 50 people. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. It's infected. So, I mean, but before that, it was good for a good few months. So it's it's pretty normal here. Pretty normal. I really the funny thing that I've I've had as well is talking to Australian friends. The really great thing is because you've got the same um, sort of. Uh, like shitty temperament as British people do. This, there's this real mm. correlation. So I've gone, so I go, yeah. well, I mean, your government have done really well. And I'm sorry for the accent, but they'll go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go, you must be shuffling. And they go, no, they're a bunch of fucking cunts. They got one thing yeah. fucking right. I hope they all fucking <laughs> die. 
And you go, no, I get that. That's good. That is the right attitude to have. Exactly. Fuck you. You've got one thing right. Kiss my ass, you fucking dick. And you're like, yeah, that's it's good. so bizarre to me when I see Americans with, and like, I'm not going to go pro-Trump or pro-fucking Biden because, you know, I'll upset them. Um, but any kind of politician's flag or banner or any kind of placard on their fucking front lawn or on their cars and shit. Yeah, like, never. No Australian. I've never seen an Australian house with a fucking banner on the front of it that says, like, fucking really love that that, that Johnny Howard bloke. You um, don't see that. In the UK, even when we're in a no, general yeah. election, sometimes dickheads yeah, might, but, in the election. Might, might go Labour, but you never get a candidate picture ever on anyone. Never. In no. You might have, yeah, like a Labour sticker somewhere, yeah. but even then, it's rare. It, it, yeah, and you right. never have, you know, these fucking people. Yeah, it's, it's it's bananas to me that people actually like politicians enough to put their shit all over the place in America. Because yeah. Aussies, like the Ameri- like, like the Poms, <laughs> are just like fucking useless cunts. Yeah, Seriously. Yeah. Useless, yeah. Bunch yeah. Of useless yeah. liars. Um, and, and as soon as you show and, some affiliation, though, the funny thing is a lot of people I get to me, people go, oh, so you love Keir Starmer. No, that's not how it works. No. It's not, I'm calling him a cunt. And they go, so he's brilliant. No, that's not. It's not how it works. I didn't go, he's fucking amazing. Fucking idiot. So the impression I got was that you've you've done really well in terms of deaths and infection mm. rate and stuff, but you've had to suffer just like us with lockdowns. But you're yeah, saying, but, but you're saying they've just been mini little lockdowns. They've been mini lockdowns, yeah, because we've got it under control. The, I mean, Melbourne, Melbourne had a, a really long lockdown that did last, I think it was five or six months. Um, but it, it still, there was a few things that were a bit easier than a lot of other countries. You know, you were still able to go and do a few things. Mm. Um, but they had a pretty long lockdown. But they had, uh, they got hit sort of with the worst of it, where they they had real bad sort of community transmission. It took them quite a while to get that fully under control. But apart from Melbourne and Victoria, every other state has been relatively fine with just a few pockets of of lockdowns here and there. Um, the only thing, but the thing is, they got. They, Everyone goes, oh, Australia is such a fucking great example of how you deal with a pandemic. <laughs> Fuck off! It's a fucking island with yeah. twenty five million that, people in that it. Does help. Like, that does help. It it's it's London has got more. How many how many people in London? It's about Not twenty quite. million, isn't it? Uh, I think I, I think it's a bit over. I think it's Between. about fifteen fifteen million. It's yeah. about fifteen million. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's nearly the size of London's population spread yeah. out over the area of like America. Like, yeah. well, even <laughs> even even a lefty prick like me has been correct to people and go, "Don't use Australia." Like, as soon as somebody goes, "Da da da," but then the dumbness in everybody, in both sides of every political scape and every kind of version of life, has been so weird. I've had the weirdest, the weirdest argument I've had weekly at the beginning of the pandemic was, uh, "Well, you don't like wearing a mask. We well, imagine how uncomfortable it is to put a tube and um, to be intubated. You're not conscious. What? What are you talking about? There's, there's no comfort or not comfort. You're not, you're not conscious." And they go, "No, no, I think some of them are." Let me fucking tell you, no one's intubated <laughs> conscious, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> fucking dickhead. Other than that, it would be a great point. Yeah, other than that, though, I agree, wear a mask, but don't use that as the reason. It's so stupid as shit. And as you say, Australia and New Zealand were the examples that dickheads used. They'd go, they'd go, New Zealand, you know, fucking, it's, it's huge. And they go, yeah, but there's no one on it. Shut you the do, fuck you up. Do, you do have a geographical advantage. You've got the, a, a massive geographical remote, advantage. Remote island. You, you know, when you say shut the borders, you don't have lorries rocking up at, at fucking gates. Do you know what I mean? You've got planes. You just go, guess what? You can't fly in. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, don't land. Qatar, you know, Qatar Airways, you know, sorry, you can't fly your planes in here. All right, fine, we yeah, won't. You, you say um, that, but then we landed a hundred and we repatriated 112 flights from India while, while they're going through this shit. They just went. And look, I remember one of our MPs on the uh, news the weekend, um, Pretty Patel. They said uh, 112 flights landed, and she went. She went. Well, she got a really horrible squeaky voice that's monotone, and she went. She said, "Everybody's talking to the government, but nobody's talking about the plane operator." That's not how it works. <laughs> Shh, can we land? No, fuck off. Ooh, <laughs> like what are you talking about? <laughs> You can't blame EasyJet. They didn't just wing it and go, oh, we might as well. 
so take if, him home. So if you guys, Australian, the Australian government has, you know, basically had a massive head start in in the location and the amount of people, you know, and the fact that we did did act pretty early. We locked down early. We said no one's coming fucking in, and even to the point where like Aussies have had was, Aussies have been trying to get home for ages, and the Australian government's like fucking no like, right, <laughs> no way, mate. And when you do come home, it's fucking three grand to stay in a hotel for two weeks. Yeah, we do that one. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. they had this big advantage. Yeah, it's been great. I do appreciate it, but they've like coasted on this success early on for way longer than they should have. And what's happened is, is the vaccine rollout, they have completely fucking bungled it. We have, I think it's like 3 million of our 25 million people have been vaccinated. Three. Oh, that's us. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's not great. And we had an old fella that was given in the first week of the fucking rollout, an old fella was given four times the oh. fucking dose <laughs> he should have had. Was he all right? <laughs> he was all right, thankfully. He's but really, still, how do you, like, you not around, train the dot? He's sucking the everyone like, off. Oh, fuck, I wasn't trained properly. You're like, no shit, Sherlock. Fucking hell. And he can now fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I that, that has happened in the UK. He can I, see COVID. Yeah. He can see, he can see it. Yeah. I know of somebody like secondhand, but I know it's like literally secondhand. I know that their their grandmother got three. She had the first two and they rang her up for the next one. And she, she just, just went in. She just went in because they said, have you had it? <laughs> she said, your appointment's on Tuesday. And she went, Okay then, and just because she's like, eighty-five, man. Then, My nana would go in if some doctor told her to come yeah, in. Smart, and then she told her son it. or something. She went, "Yeah, it's, yeah, I've been third. And he went, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, hang on a second. It probably, probably won't. It's been really fun having to sort of, especially if you've got parents, like my dad's 73 and he's not that like daft, but like having to talk to my mum, it's like being a parent of a woman ah. in her late 60s. My mum's gone. She said, oh, I don't mind the mass, but it's uncomfortable. I don't know if I should, you know, you got to walk around the supermarket and because of what my wife does, does for a living, I go, my, okay, I go, my wife, I obviously say her name, where's it? Where's a mask 10 hours a day? You can do yeah. 20 minutes going around Tesco's. Yeah, she come goes, on, oh, no. And she goes, okay. Like, because she's seen the one with the mask where it's a piece of plastic <laughs> and it floats. I'm like, no, uh, yeah, you're not wearing that. that. No, you were just wear a bloody thing on your face. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, my um, my dad's like I, I was the same. Like when it first happened, and because he's a he's still smoking. I haven't got him to. I've given him so many vapes, he breaks them, <laughs> and he's and then he says, oh, but it makes me cough, and I can't anyway. So that's another story. Still haven't got my dad on the on the vapes, but I have tried honestly. I swear to God. <laughs> and so he's he's a naturopath, so he's getting people into. He works from home. He gets people into his house. Um somehow it stinks of cigarettes but people go in there and <laughs> their eyes must burn <laughs> and they get, so i That's said to the myself, Dad, look, they're like where is yeah. he yeah in the early stages of the of the whole thing when there was like still community transmission in south australia i said dad you really should sort of you know maybe not do uh consultations for a bit you know and he's like he's like yeah no nah, no nah, I'll, I'll be all right and i was like fuck if you get covid you're fucking screwed dude because you're 65 and you've got fuck lungs <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. he just won't listen. Yeah. Stop an old farmer. My dad's got angina, and I was like, "Stay, just, just don't go anywhere." And he's a, he writes. He's me. still got a full time job. He writes code, but he's at home. But it, weirdly, he gave to go. He'd do things like he had to go into the office like twice a week just to pick up files, and he'd go around with his camera and take pictures of like behind his desk. And then when they came into Zoom, it looked like my dad was at his desk because he'd set the backdrop. And his boss would go, uh, Les, um, are you at the office? And he'd be going, no. And they'd be going, we can see behind you. And he'd go, oh, I'm just joking. And he got like Susan, the, se the receptionist, he did it <laughs> oh, as a video once. Brilliant. So Susan, the sec secretary, walked behind him and picked up a coffee. And she, they went, no, no, that's not a backdrop this time. Susan just walked, oh, I got her to do that. It's brilliant. You're mental. <laughs> You're a lunatic. That's mental old fucking bastard. brilliant, though. That's, that's good, so actually. good. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of old people that didn't know how to use Zoom properly, and My you're mind. not even not even old people, just people that are technologically. I can't say that. Yeah, but... don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say technologically But like the uh, <laughs> the American politician, I think she was a mayor, and she was on Zoom, and her husband's in the fucking background in the shower, naked or something. Yeah. 
Um, and I'm like, why are you zooming in the bathroom to begin with? But there's your dad, and he's he's fucking <laughs> taking pictures of his office and tricking everyone. But Clearly he knows what the fuck's yeah. going on with his technology. But I've been lying like fuck, like because a lot a lot of people in my life don't really know what I do for a living. So somebody goes, somebody will go, do you want to zoom? And I go, I don't really know how it works. Like, and they go, really? You go, yeah. It's not something I've ever got a grasp of. Like, because I just can't be bothered at all. Like, my mum has no idea. I do it on a phone. Story, I've got no internet. Yeah. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> it's not. It's not something I want to mess about with the internet. I'm leaving it. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Somebody said, "Are you enjoyed like seeing all your mates on Zoom?" I'm like, not doing that. <laughs> Forget it. I don't care that much. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, we had my, we had a family catch up. Yeah, that, that, that's been priceless, hasn't it? In the long term. Oh, just still Nana, on the phone. Nana, like, Nana's always, up like this. She had the camera trying to do it. Yeah, like this. yeah my mum is <laughs> full forehead. That's all you get. It's just the forehead. The laptop one's the worst because you've got the angle. Yeah, that, yeah. That upward camera angle where it just tilt the screen back. That's the. Nightmare. We're like Nana. Do you want to tilt the camera down just a little bit so we can see the rest of your face? <laughs> <laughs> and they go, they go up to the computer to talk. Yeah, like a, like a walkie-talkie or something. Uh, yeah, the other the other thing we were speculating um, before you, you came on was slow sort of new vape product slowdown. Have you have, yeah. you have you noticed this? Like, there seems to be less uh. new stuff compared to like two years ago, where it was like ten new things every week. It's it, yeah, like, it I seems s- like there's less new gear. I think there is less new gear, not as much as. I would have thought um, I've still had you know trouble keeping up with everything. There is seems to be a bit of less new gear, um, and now it's taking longer to get to me because DHL have decided they're not going to ship vape products from China. Yeah, well, anywhere they won't move anything. Yeah, from anywhere. Well, that's what I mean. But but obviously it affects the Chinese who send me stuff, and I'm I'm, I'm like so the Americans ban vaping vape stuff being sent via usps there's and nothing in there about dhl no they just fell they just fell to it yeah just went with and it. then dhl are like we're not going to ship anything vape related in the us and also the rest of the what the fuck yeah 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 luckily what i've got fuck? i had to get one of my vape suppliers in the us to, they basically they decided to change their company names they bought another company yeah just to send me shit from yeah. through dhl because dhl are cunts anyway like yeah. I've had, they have a thing called. Well, all, cour- all couriers are cunts. Yeah, they have like, a thing going called. Going for a job at a courier, they're like, "Can you yeah. be a like, useless asshole?" <laughs> yeah. You've they got the thing- job. They have a thing called the chemical locker, right? The chemical locker, and they'll go, oh, "Yeah, wow. sorry, mate, it's in the chemical locker." And you're like, "Yeah, I know, but that's not a one-way system. Go in there and get it out." <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah, without <laughs> authorization." What are you talking about? It's there. It's a cupboard. Get it, you fucking dickhead. And it's like, and the spec it says oh, you can't send it without the spec. It's on there. It's on the front. Peel it. You know the thing yeah. that says "Do not open." That's for you. It's not for me. Open it, and then check what's in it. Fucking dickhead. I- yeah. I had real trouble with UPS um, because um, suicide mods send me stuff from the UK, obviously, because it's just, you know, designing yeah. with them. Um, and USP- UPS would have the fucking documentation there mm. and they, they would be like sending me an email saying, do you know what this is? And I was like, it says it on the fucking packet. Like, it's got it all there. You should have everything. Oh no, we need we need more information. What do you fucking mean? And then then you know, suicide mods got to get on the fucking. And then like they've got it all. They're fucking useless. Honestly, yeah. a lady from UPS called me yesterday, and her whole job in life is to ring people up, find out their email addresses, so that they can send the form to fill out or show the attachment. Why doesn't she just ask them what it is? So she rang, she rang me, she said, I need your email address so we can get you to fill this out. She'd never heard of an underscore. What? Her job is to collect email addresses. She'd never... What? Well, so you said underscore and she went, do what now? Oh, sorry, sir, what's an underscore? Oh, my God. Well, let me hear, the, let me hear what you said. I said, you know, like a, like a... Like a line, like a line, you know. If you want to, like a oh like a sp- like a space with a line. And my uh, eight-year-old daughter was in the car. It was on the car speaker. She went just a line at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the the lady went, ah, okay. 
bottomy line. Gotcha. Yeah. That's um, that's amazing. I don't that know is... if it was her first day, or but like, how has that not come up before? Like, I yeah, mean, even, even if your job isn't associated with email addresses, sure, surely I, you're a grown I adult. I don't, you... I don't know. What even if you is. didn't know what underscore was, and you look, you'd think I know what the word score means. Under, I know what that means. Look at the keyboard. Yeah. There it is. Like they were definitely. I've seen that before. I know I've heard of that one before. Adam just made it's like a being in the colleague. It's like <laughs> being in in this stationery industry. I'm sorry, sir. Staple, staple. <laughs> a staple. What? About <laughs> bendy metal. <laughs> don't yeah, I, I, I don't understand courier companies. They're just they're all useless fucking wankers. They just want money. They literally just want money. I had to in well, Canada. Clearly not. They don't want vape. <laughs> Yeah, in Lots Canada, and, like, so much stuff. I had Toby. I was talking to Toby once, and he was jammed in Canada. And I was like, "Dude, it's like in Ontario, and I can't do anything about it. And it's here, and no one's taking any notice." And weirdly, his friends were, was friends with the managing director of um, DHL in Canada, and so he rang him, <laughs> went, "Get it out of the fucking thing!" And then he oh, rang wow. me, and he went, "Yeah, it's done." And I was like. Dude, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, yeah, do that. Cheap. Got friends on the inside at DHL. <laughs> and then, as you say, though, curious dickheads, the guy who dropped it off, this guy got out of the cab. I'm no kidding. No, no, not joking. He's about 15 stone overweight, and he got that smell of like unwashed clothes with deodorant layered on the top. <laughs> and, he, and he put the box down on the floor, and he went, glad to get out of the van. That out of the van, it stinks. <laughs> what does it smell of? Vanilla, yeah. I see why that's a bastard. Yeah. Not like you. I'll be fumigating when you get the fuck out of here. Fuck off. I say demand it. It's standing there with the alcohol spray. <laughs> yeah. How's he smelling that in the back of the van? No, it was in the front. He moved it because it was his next job, right. and he put it in the front, and He's then he was going. Conversation. I mean, it's not like vanilla, but the piss take was he just looked like walked in a cloud of stink came in with him. Because right. I was like, fuck is that? I think I had my headphones in. I didn't even hear the doorbell. Sorry, Hagrid, that this smells of cinnamon <laughs> and cookies. Yeah. Sorry to offend your I say that all couriers are cunts. I have to say, if my courier's watching, my actual DHL guy, I don't know I see him very often now. There's only a few companies that still send by DHL to me. Um, he is a lovely, lovely chap yeah, who comes for a chat. Are good. Yeah, I've got my I've got my regulars and they're they're great and they do stuff. Like, who they work for? Wankers. Yeah, wankers. Yeah. Not the time if I'm not at the shop, they'll drop it at my front door at home because like, it's only down the road. Not He's really good. Exactly. He's not meant to leave it if I haven't authorised to leave it, but he knows that you know where to put it. Goes puts it behind the pot plant. You know, does the little thing where he authorises it, even though he shouldn't, which which could get him in trouble. So um, no, the the, the little the the, uh, the lower level guys, great, top tier, fucking tosses. Yeah. <laughs> But oh, what are they going to do when they've run out of businesses? You know, when they just keep saying no to people, where are they going to be? It seems crazy to me because the, the amount of vape gear around the world that is being shipped, you know, the UK alone would be huge amounts of vape gear. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Especially, and, and then out of China, because that's where all the shit is made. You, you're just saying no to a bunch of cash, which just seems absolutely bananas yeah. that they would just walk away from all of that. They've also, with uh, Trump's... Um, Changes to UPS. They did the the price of shipping to um, America has more than doubled. Yeah, even if you yeah. even if you can get them to accept it, it's double the cost. Double the price, yeah, yeah. everywhere. And as you like, so Royal Mail went, went, they doubled, and then everybody else went, yeah, fair enough, we'll all double. Why well, has it gone up then? Yeah, why? Royal Mail has. Okay, <laughs> thanks for being reasonable humans. Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't know. America are just getting going to get starved of fake gear because who the fuck is going to send it to? Them? Yeah, yeah, you it's it's bollocks. It's concerning. And then I saw a report the other day. Um, Cully put a thing out that the smoking rates in teenagers in is it San Francisco? Yeah, yeah, we just talked about that. Quadrupled. Yeah, yeah. it's gone up yeah. by four times the amount of kids are smoking yeah, yeah. already. It's only been in; it hasn't even come into effect yet. Yeah, yeah it's three just, years. You know, every, everywhere like. it seems to be everywhere where there's flavor bands and all that sort of stuff. Absolute bad, yeah. bad shit people. Massachusetts, so they've got a flavor band started last year. They thought mid um, pandemic, let's, let's do it now. And they did it. Oh, yeah, that whole. It's, it's... I think levels of weed smoking went up, and this is quite good. It <laughs> That's doubled probably part of it, though. In the US yeah. in the pandemic, and they said, uh, they said, they said, a lot of people have got anxiety. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what that is. Anxiety. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like they're smoking weed. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely bananas that you can get. That, that, that it's now harder to vape than it is to smoke weed. Yeah. In the but US. you can't talk any sense to them. Even like Cully's very sensible, but you, you talk to Cully and go. Oh, I had a joke with him. He said, uh, he said, he said, you're only bitter because uh, they don't have legalized weed in the UK. And I went, yeah, that's it. I mean, you're using it for treating medical issues. And he went, yeah. And I said, you must be all sorted. But now it's been six years. I'm surprised you've got any medical issues. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. I mean, to be reasonable. It's just a cash grab. It's just that you've capitalized on that, which I, yeah, whatever. Oh. But let's yeah. not keep hiding behind this idea that it cures fucking there anything. Are, there are some really good reasons to legalize it from yeah. an economic standpoint, yeah. legality. Decriminalize it, take De away all that money from the cartel. Yeah. But, but let's not pretend it's medicinal. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking mental. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, so, not to discount, there are people out there that do use it for that, and uh, you know that, that's great, but I think the vast majority of people that smoke it just get high as fuck. Yeah. just want to get high. Yeah, no, there, <laughs> yeah, there, are, there are a few things that it, it, it's that. Is it glaucoma is a classic one? Yes. Yeah, release yeah. pressure in the eye. Yeah, yeah it's totally true. Sense. So that's and um, uh, not, uh, yeah, MS, yeah. multiple sclerosis. Uh, and and cancer tremendous. patients, it's going to increase your appetite, which is great. Yeah, knock the nausea down from chemotherapy. Yeah, it's just totally fine. So there are, it's some, just... there are some good ones. But, yeah, yeah. you know, your average person that didn't have any anxiety before we became a medicinal option, suddenly... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Exactly. It's yeah. like over here, we're Anxiety, obsessed. gone. Schizophrenia. <laughs> new. <laughs> it's new and improved. I mean, Sam, you, you were over here for, uh, you've been over here for Expo. Uh, well, before 2020, you were over here every year for that yeah. for, for Expo. Um, you saw CB, what the fuck was it called? What's the CBD. Bullshit? CBD. D they explode. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't do anything. But Half the booths is, were, uh, were yeah. CBD booths. It was yeah. crazy. A massive Absolutely. explosion of it. We still don't even, they, they haven't even really legalized. I mean, CBD is like, I don't know whether it's legal here or not. The government's really weird on it. I, I think you can, but I don't know for sure what, what the deal is. But Smoke some fucking yeah. weed, who cares? Like, it doesn't yeah. do anything at all. I mean, it's like, it's beyond like mainstream here now. It's like, it's yeah. Holland and Barrett. Yeah. It's like yeah, it's super day. drug. It's like any, you can go in any sort of shop and just get something I, I actually advised a friend recently who it, it was doing really well at treating their skin. And I said, and I uh, gave me the bottle and I saw the ingredients and the breakdown because it's exactly the same as it would be in a vape liquid. And I went, yep. yeah, I think what you're finding is PG is really good for your skin. And they went, yeah. what? And I said, because there's so little like of anything in that, yeah. <laughs> that I'll give you that instead. And they went, but is it cheaper? Yeah. It's about a hundredth the price of what you're rubbing <laughs> on your face. So. The cheapest ingredient in the bottle. That you're, yeah. It's cheaper you're, than the flavour. Yeah. Yeah. It's cheaper than the lid. Don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're rubbing PG all over your face. I can get a vat the size of your car for a few hundred bucks. I've got, I've got 50 litres in the shop of PG. I mean, we can sort something out. It's like when the alcohol thing, you know, when, when everybody started going mad on that hand sanitizer. Oh my God. The prices I of methylated hands. spirits to actually do like proper cleaning, not, 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 you know, yeah. cleaning my fucking hands, like cleaning gunky stuff off of things. But people were storing 50 liters of isopropyl in their kitchens and stuff, like, cause they were making it at home. And I was going, it's really dangerous. If you it have a kitchen fire. Well, I, and the other thing is, cause it's isopropyl, the flames invisible. And I was like, you're going to yeah. die. <laughs> Your house is going you to explode. You won't even know when it's when you're about. To... <laughs> I really wanted it to be like Harry Potter. Somebody just goes, "Well, I do know what happened. There was a big bang, and then his house disappeared. <laughs> was there any flames? <laughs> nope. <laughs> like, just went, so he, saw, he saw the Americans with their gas shortage filling up bags. Oh my god! <laughs> Petrol, the tubs. The, the, the lid. <laughs> The lidless tubs of fucking petrol. Well, that's going to be fun when it sloshes around in the back of your fucking truck. Carrier bags. We, but we couldn't take the piss because when we had a petrol shortage here a few years ago, they blockaded the refineries. I remember they had, um, they cleared like three streets uh, in a town not far from there. And, uh, and uh, they had like the bomb squad and everything turn up. And it was like, oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? And it was a guy who'd been going to fill up cans and then he'd been filling up a wheelie bin in the oh, garden. My God. So that he'd got a stockpile 
it'd got a wheelie <laughs> bin. So it'd got 40 <laughs> litres. No, 40 litres. Fuck that. I don't even know what that is. 100, 100 litres of fuel in a, in a wheelie bin. It'd be at least, it'd be at least that. And all the vapour, because I used to work in petrol, so all the vapour's just kind of trickling out the top and it would have just been oh, pull, pulling in any low, lowest places would have just been... You walked that, oh yeah, I'm fucking... Yeah. <laughs> I give it right. <laughs> Flash over. But that much, because you only want, like, you want, like, less than 1% in the air is, is, is where the real flash light is. And they were right to clear the streets because it would have just, you had blown up a fucking old fucking street with one thing of petrol. So we can't take the piss because British people are just as stupid. Uh, we should ask, what's new? What's new, Sam? You've always got you've always got a new product, a new item on the on the horizon. Oh, what am I working on? Yeah, uh... what's what, anything? Is something? There's something coming fairly soon, isn't there? Is there a new uh, borrow style? There's a couple of little wee bits. Uh, yeah, I do actually have um, the first prototype for um, an ether bridge for the borrow, which is going to be interesting. Mm. Um, so, you know, like we did for the abyss. Yeah, you did for the um, abyss, yeah. Yeah, so we've kind of done a, a, a chop the, uh, the sides off it so it's square and fits in a borrow. So um, I still need to tweak a few things on that, but that's going to be coming soon, a little ether for the, um, for the borrow. Um, and do, 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 got a few blottos things happening oh, cool. in the uh, nice. department. Just waiting for the uh, that, that's much closer to production, hopefully. Um, waiting you, for Dosbo to get the models done. You've got two, you've got the, the not the original, and then you've got the mini. Yeah, so we, we did the the moment there's the the blotto and then the the blotto mini, which is essentially the same deck but just on a smaller yeah. package. I, I, um, I really so, like the mini. Yeah, so we've got um, a blotto twenty eight millimeter coming, um, which is a bigger deck, so it's actually have more space to build, mm. um, and then a single coil mini, so it's actually post shrunk in a little bit, so it's really specifically for a single coil. Nice. Um, and then, uh, then there another was regular size that, wasn't, one. Wasn't there? Yeah, there's lots of people that single coil. I think in general, in the last year or so, has really kind of taken off again. Yeah. I think the mini so, could be big in the UK as well with a single coil. I think. Really yeah, the mini. Yeah, it'll be 23 yeah. millimeters in diameter, so it won't be super wide. And it'll be a single coil. Um, yeah, and tweak the outside a little bit so it looks a bit different to the original, but still has that same kind of bottle cap shape to it. So yeah, a couple of little things happening there. Do you miss getting out off off the island that is Australia? Initially, it was quite nice because I'd been yeah. doing so many trips. I'd been, yeah. been traveling the US a lot. A couple of times. Yeah, I'd done um, the US uh, for, uh, what did I do, two? Two expos over there. I'd done ECC in 2018, and then I'd done um, uh, 2019's, what do you call it, the, um, the one at Mohegan Sun. Um, and yeah, lots of fun there. But in between all that, I was doing two UK trips a year because I was doing both oh, yeah. the May and the October show. And I'd had yeah. New Zealand um, both years. Um, and where else did I go? Oh, South Africa. Have you um, done the, the German uh, one? Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Germany, that was, that was one of my, my favourite ones. Um, and that was all booked again. the biggest one in the world now, isn't it? Mm. The German I think so, unless you yeah, count but... the Shenzhen, um, which is just ridiculous. But um, have you been, have you been to that one? No, no. I was I was keen to check that out at one point. I was supposed to go to Dubai in 2020, along with Germany again, along with both October's, uh, both October and May yeah, in the UK okay. and New Zealand. So there was lots of travel, and you know, it, I'm very lucky. Like I'm not complaining. Um, it was it was awesome. But it's also you know a fair bit of time away from the kids, yeah. um, and I did miss them a lot when I was away. And getting on a plane for 20 hours, you know. Yeah. just one way <laughs> it's um but it's a long time in the air yeah. yeah and so the first six months i was like you know what i'm really enjoying not not the track not traveling spending more time with the kids yada yada um but yeah towards the end of last year i was like you know what? i'm kind of getting the itch again to yeah. to get over to catch up with people plus you know there's there's you lot that i always see when i was in um the uk yeah. so yeah it's um it's yeah definitely at the point now i was like it'd be fucking great to to get out but it doesn't look like our borders are going to open any anytime soon before the end of the either. year we've even zero did, chance <coughs> france have just banned us haven't they <laughs> and germany have as well yeah they're worried about our variants i agree um 
I didn't see. Everyone's got their own variants. What are you going to do? You know, this we're getting them all. Fuck own... you. We, we've had <laughs> South African, Indian. We've got Ken. We're, 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 we're naturally a melting pot. You know. Yeah, we're dickheads. Well, which is Andy. <laughs> I've really it's missed. Like, it's, like, it, it's like a curry. Everyone's putting their own twist on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the like, only... We're an island. We're an island. But you can literally swim to us. Yeah. Like, yeah. That would be. Well, you can drive under under it as well. Yeah. You know? <laughs> We're literally swimming. Dis- where is it? Be a heck of an effort to swim to Australia, wouldn't it? From anywhere, really. Yeah, even if you were to swim from Indonesia, I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah. We just, I, I kind of, I had the same. Well, I didn't. We, we, uh, we really fluked it. We went to Sri Lanka for two weeks last February, and then we landed. Then they oh, shut it. Wow. Then when they shut it down, <laughs> it was like yeah. it was like we landed. They went, yeah, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Martin are now back in the country. Shut it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the drawbridge. Because a friend of ours was a week, a week behind us, and they got trapped at the at the airport hotel, like one of the airport hotels, for two months, like behind us. Because Sri Lanka just went fuck off and just shut down. They wouldn't let anyone out or in. Um, and so we really did fluke it. Uh, and of course, because that was the, our holiday for the year, I didn't really care. And then March, April. So normally we go vape jam. Uh, March, April would be Expo. And then we'd kind of, but we see each other anyway. So we've not even like the hosts no. of the show. We've not seen each other at all no. for like, like it will be well, it'll be two years at the end of the summer. It's like this yeah. is really fucking weird. Yeah. Um, My sister was lucky as well because she was in Vancouver. She was living there for nearly two years, and she was due to come back anyway in May, but um, May or June. Um, then COVID hit and she was like, yeah, I think we should maybe head back to Australia a little bit early. <laughs> and so luckily she got out great call. in, um, must've been March, I think. Wow. And then, and then that's when they shut the borders sort of thing. And then after that, it became really difficult to get into Australia where you had to hotel quarantine for two weeks, but they were only doing limited numbers to come in. So, you know, you had to firstly find a flight. There wasn't many flights coming, you know, in and then if you did find a flight, it was like fucking six grand to get on a one-way ticket. And then you had to spend three grand, four grand on hotel quarantine when you got here. So it was, it was a $10,000 exercise to get home oh. if you could get a flight home for most of this, most of 2020. Yeah. That's absolutely nuts. Yeah. But it's, yeah. But it's worked. <laughs> but it has, yeah. Has yeah, worked, it has worked. It? Yeah. it has worked, but it just... It pisses me off because, you know, I'm very thankful that we've been able to have a pretty much regular life here. We just, you know, a little bubble of Australia, you can't leave, but we've got a regular life. But they've sat on that and they haven't rolled there. So because they're like, oh, we don't have any really high cases of infections, we don't need to roll out the vaccine very fast. And so they've taken their sweet fucking time, sat on their hands and haven't rolled out the vaccine. Mm. And now we've got an outbreak in Melbourne and there's 50 people infected. One of them's in intensive care looking real bad and it's like well if you'd rolled out the vaccine quicker like the rest of the fucking world we probably wouldn't have this outbreak and that person wouldn't be probably dead let's face it if you end up in icu you're probably not coming out yeah 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 and so it pissed me off that the government has kind of taken advantage of their good fortune and initial good job it's, and haven't kept doing it it's it's, inter- it's interesting as well that there's not like a big push on repatriation like getting the aussies that want to come back back because no, like, they haven't. That, was been... a, that was a huge oh. thing here. Yeah, but we fucked there was it. Like, a lot of, like, there was a lot of political pressure, though, to get yeah, back in Britain pressure. that wanted mm. to come back. And so they they uh, they took control of several airlines, but have didn't you they? Seen... And they got people yeah. back. Whereas the, but... clearly in Australia, there isn't a, an enormous amount of pressure. But, they're, they're, to but they've done amazing... In Australia, when they have um, uh, repatronised people, they've got them... They literally land... They get into the coach. Everything's like sealed as fuck. They go straight to the airport, uh, straight to the hotel. They park. But the pilot of the plane has to quarantine. All the stewardesses have to quarantine. The coach driver's in it as well. He's got two weeks away. They get must get paid a fortune to drive that fucking yeah. coach. But they're literally yeah. they're everyone involved. They quarantine the fuck out of them. And it's like shit over here. We just go. They land and we go. You promise? And they go. Yeah. They're not going to go out. And they go. No. Nope. And then they go and see him in two weeks and go, how the fuck have 150 people caught COVID? I just wanted to try the new Twix. Don't go out! That's what it 
<laughs> and then they go, you know, there's a fine. And they go, yep. And they go, well, oh, we're not going to give it to you, but we might have. Next time. <laughs> next, next time. time. <laughs> like, why the fuck are they not bringing criminal charges? Ah, uh, I can't be asked. Uh, the, the other thing, a few, uh, a few people have mentioned in chat earlier. We sort of touched that a bit earlier, but how do you, how do you seeing how do you see the American thing affecting you? What you do, vaping in general, popularity, YouTube. It, uh, are, you, uh, are you worried about how insanely banny America's getting with vaping, and is it gonna? Yeah. I, I would have been a little bit more concerned if the Australian government hadn't hadn't already done their own little fucking thing. And so, you know, it, as of October, we have to have a, a fucking prescription because, you, yeah. as you guys know, um, you, we've never been able to buy nicotine in Australia. We've had to import it from New Zealand or wherever and then add it to our, yeah, our liquids, yeah. kind of like you guys have with the, you know, the adding the shop. But yeah. the difference is you can go to a fucking vape shop and you can buy the juice, you can buy the nicotine, and then boom, you've got everything you need. We've got to go buy the juice and then we've got to import nicotine and then add it to our liquid, which has been a fucking pain in the ass for a lot of people, particularly, you know, older generation. Um, and now you've got to go and get a prescription to import that nicotine mm. as of October. So they've kind of done this big, you know, this investigation. They formed committees. Does your, your, I'm pretty sure yeah, the British do the same yeah. thing. When they're not sure about something, we'll form a committee. Yeah, you yeah. Know. <laughs> It's okay, because everyone's of... just making bucks, aren't they? Just sit around talking bollocks. Who cares? Yeah. It's a bunch of people who do not know anything about what they're investigating, and they say they're going to investigate it, but they do fuck all, yeah. because we send them a whole bunch of information about it. We know we're taking public submissions, and we say thousands of vapors put in submissions, and they ignore all of that and go, but this, this fucking study says that it's going to cause youth to vape. That study's bullshit. What the fuck are you looking at that for? Um, it's, and so... It, it's so weird. Like, so is that ongoing? Is that still? Are they are they still gonna, do you think it's going to come in, or do you think they're going to stall it again? The nicotine prescription. Yeah. No, it's in. So the TGA, which is sort of like Europe, has the TPD. We've got the Therapeutic Goods Administration, the TGA, which is a government body. So they're they're empowered to make regulations. They don't make law, but they make regulations regarding poisons and drugs and all that sort of stuff. So. The only way for them, so they've made a, a, a classification that you're going to need a prescription to import nicotine, but you don't need a prescription to get your nicotine patches and gum from the fucking supermarket, but somehow nicotine to be imported, you do need a prescription for. Um, so they've made this ruling. Um, the only way that that would get overturned is if the government makes legislation, because because it's a government body, they have to follow government legislation. Um, so they, they can make up a ruling, and unless there's legislation that, contradicts their regulations it's coming in in october right. um and the health minister who's not any qualifications in health at all he's a fucking lawyer we've got one of them um, yeah yeah they're all, <laughs> all fucking lawyers so greg hunt or no greg, he's not greg even hunt. that he's just a he's just a professional politician that's what we've got yeah yeah i mean so he's clearly in the pocket of you know, the TGA and the big pharmaceuticals and all the rest of it. And the government makes so much money off a cigarette. $17 billion is the cigarette excise wow. tax each year. And that's going to go up because they keep increasing the taxes here. Yeah, it's, same it's as us. Not, yeah, not enough 25 actually... pounds for a pack of smokes. Wow. Fuck! 50 Australian dollars for a pack of Benson and Hedges or Peter Stuyvesant's. Wow. Fuck. And that goes up 16% every quarter or every three every four months do people yeah. still smoke oh my god yeah it's nuts wow. if someone so, asks so you you're like can i have a, can i bum a fag you're like uh, have you got fiver you know like <laughs> <laughs> so how do you how do you qualify for a prescription to import nicotine do you literally just well that's where there was a whole bunch of confusion on it so uh, initially um and i've got to do a little video about this because initially there was no direction from the government or the tga about how they were going to do this the doctors were like i don't fucking know anything about nicotine and well i know about nicotine but prescribing it and whatever but essentially now they've said that any doctor can do it um and there's no guidance on how much they can prescribe so they can still prescribe us 100 milligrams and you can import it but i heard the other day from someone who had went to um their their gp and their gp is a uh, quit new south wales uh doctor which means that he's tied in with the quit new south wales and obviously 
Quit New South Wales are very much anti-vaping and pro nicotine, nicotine mm. patch gums and all of that other crap. So their doctor said to him, he's like, so I've been importing 100 milligram nicotine. And he's like, hold on the Jim Ludd. I'm not fucking prescribing you fucking 100 milligram. You can have 17 milligram, 18 milligram, and it's going to be an excise bottle or whatever. And so this poor person's like, well, that's not going to work because I, I vape, you know, 20 milligram, you know, and I need to be able to mix it with my liquid. So I need a high concentrate so I can mix it in, blah, blah, blah. But that's only with shit doctors. So any, if you go and get a good doctor, they'll still yeah. prescribe you 100 milligram and you can import it. So I need to do a video so basically asking. It, even though you've been prescribed it. Yeah. It's like, it's like a doctor saying, okay, you've clearly got, Something. gonorrhea you've got, yeah <laughs> you've got gonorrhea but you can't just go to the chemist you've got to go online <laughs> they can't even i really to fly to another country to get it i was thinking about it in my head and i was thinking you know logically and i thought the doctor's thinking i can't prescribe this guy poison and then you, then i then i thought every fucking thing that guy prescribes is poison if you yeah. di if you prescribe somebody 400 paracetamol and they take them all at once they're dead yeah. it's the yeah. same thing it doesn't make any difference it's not like he doesn't have to make a judgment call but, it doesn't make but essentially difference. you must have every to day. basically prove you're a smoker i guess it's all about smoking well, isn't it I've had so that was one person's experience. Other people's experience have been that they went to their DP and he was like, "Yep, you've been using this. I'll prescribe 100 milligram, right. you know, and you can import like you usually do." So I need to do a video basically calling on Aussies to. What I want to do is create like a database of doctors yeah, that have idea. been good, so that <clears throat> people can put into. I'm going to do a Google form so people can basically put in where they went to to get which GP they went to and what was their ex experience good and w was the doctor happy to prescribe them like they normally would 100 milligrams so you can import like you used to so that I can then make that public for everybody who's looking for it like where's the doctor and they can look up on their go oh, he's near me I can go to that doctor because there's a bunch of quit New South Wales and quit Victoria and basically all of these so bent isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's ridiculous. Oh, and you hear this and he goes, no, I'm not prescribing that, you know, because, and it's like, well, hang on a second. The TGA hasn't given you any guidance. The TGA doesn't say you can't prescribe me hundred milligrams. That's your own volition that you've decided yeah. I'm not going to have a hundred milligram because you'd think that I can't, fuck you. I've been doing this longer than you have even known about vaping. Mm. You have no idea whether I can work with a hundred milligrams. So fuck you. So do you have, I don't know how it works in Australia. Like, so if we had a GP's practice, say there was like a, there was like six, seven GPs in the practice. Mm -hmm. um, and like, no, you can't just ring up and they'll give you an appointment with whoever's free. Um, or if you want to be particular, they'll they'll mm -hmm. give you the doctor that you name. Like I've had. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can yeah. do that. So yeah, I yeah. use. Same here. Same, right, yeah. Because I've, I've had, I used to have a really snarky older lady <laughs> GP who I fucking adored. She was amazing. Like, <laughs> No bullshit. I remember I sat down and she said, uh, you know, I was going to ask you for a urine sample. And I said, I do. You know, you're 45 minutes late. You can guess what happened. I went for a piss. Ta -da. She went, can you have another one? I went, I'm a 32 year old man. No, I fucking can't. Thanks for doing that. <clears throat> and we always used to have like, a, there was like a funny to and fro. I remember sat down once and she went, <clears throat> are you still smoking? I said, I just have one. Thanks for the offer. And she went, and just carried on doing the typing. Like, but it was just a decent, like, healthy, but over no here, bullshit. Yeah. But over here, it would be seen as, like, the big thing up here is, like, wasting doctor's time. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I, that's GP how... GP time quotas. Yeah. And... I get away oh, with... Oh, and that's what we've... They'd be, we've they'd be, said be as well. nuts over here about wasting doctor's time. Doing yeah, yeah. Because you could just say, let's not fuck about. Do it over the phone. I smoke. Write the pissing thing down. Give me it. Like, I don't want to see you. You don't want to see me. Yeah. Let's just deal with it. And I could get away with that with my team. The doctor's time is priceless, isn't it? Yeah. Let's let's you know jam up the health system with more people going to the doctors to get prescriptions for nicotine, which is <laughs> yeah, recording shit. already for fucking years. <laughs> how how much do you get then? So say it's a good doctor, he says 100 mg. How much? Would well, he, you're able to, you... and that's the other thing is you know there's still that uh, very very loose term of up to a three month supply. So <laughs> what? Is and a three months four liters of, of 100 milligrams. Yeah, exactly. Going. So exactly. everyone takes their bonzer at RDA and goes, well, I'm going through it like crazy. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just put 100 milligrams straight in here. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah it, it, it's fucking annoying but yeah hopefully i can create some form of a place where people can That's go to idea. see these yeah. doctors yeah. are going to help do well, they're, they're pro vaping or they at least understand how nicotine is used in a vape product because once you understand that some people are vaping uh, say if you vape 20 milligram salts or 30 milligram salts and you import nicotine salts from New Zealand, you know, you need 100 milligram because then you can mix that with your liquid and get 20 milligrams. But if you're only prescribed 18 milligrams, you can't mix that into your fucking juice and yeah, get what you, you normally would. So, yeah, hopefully I can create a little database. I'm going to do that video soon so that I can get people's experience because there are people out there already getting prescriptions in preparation for um, October. So we can get some feedback from people and those that have been good pro vaping doctors, we can then share that with the rest of the community. <coughs> You just reminded me of something quite funny that happened in Republic of Ireland. I have Terry's there, but the, um, a few a few years ago, there was a massive argument with the GPs in the Republic of Ireland where they said the GPs were saying, "I we haven't got uh, we've got too many people to see. We're not. We're totally overrun. We're going to go on strike." Every GP in the Republic of Ireland, and Fucking one hell. politician thought of a really good idea, and they said, "No problem." So when are you going on strike? And they said, "Whatever it was, third of June." And they said. Okay, doke. On the second of June, we're going to publish your salaries in the paper. <laughs> and they went, "We're not that. We're not that tight. We you know uh, uh, believe it. Believe it." Like the, the idea that they would publish the salaries, they just went, "Yeah, no." That's like some uh, strike. Drummond. Strike. Do it. Yeah, strike. <laughs> Who said anything about a strike? Stuart Drummond just said uh, in chat, said Australian GPs get really well paid. And I was like, I know a couple of GPs in the UK. They're on a quarter of a million pound a year. Don't fucking, don't worry yeah. about their money. They're fine. They are dandy. They're, when they oh, yeah. go, we get those GPs where they just don't give up. You can just tell they're kind of just tapped out. You know, it's, yeah. just, <laughs> it's it. just like Fridays is my golf day. You know, and he's just, you go in and they're like, yeah, what's your fucking problem? You know, they just don't give a shit. It's really bad. Due to my old job, what's well, so my wife works in healthcare, but due to my old job, I, a lot of shareholders of the company that I work for were doctors and they would be, if I was asked to go to a dinner party, weirdly, really posh people like a person who accidentally drops the word cunt into conversation, which is me, right? They're all pissed themselves. They go, oh, John's coming up. It's going to be amazing. He's got this joke. It's going to be a riot. He ends with, it ends with fucking cunt. Oh, it's brilliant. You've got to see it. But my wife would be sitting there thinking, prick wanker. Asshole, yeah. <laughs> like it's in them on the Friday. Because we all know that at the end of the day, it's the it's the nurses that run the fucking healthcare she's system. Not, she, she's not. I could say so. I'll get in trouble. She's not a nurse. She's an occupational therapist. Everyone always thinks she's a nurse. She's not. So she's on the therapy team. She's a posh nurse. She's the. She's the. No. Well, it's everyone. It's everyone but the doctors, basically, that are Absolutely. fucking doing all the work. Yeah, what? exactly. Our own prime minister keeps saying, "I want to thank all the nurses," and you want to go. Do you know how many nurses there are on a ward? About two. You know everyone else with a vagina? Not a nurse. You're just... <laughs> That's not what it means. It doesn't mean vagina owner. I know you think it does. <laughs> but it doesn't. There's a, there's like three female doctors at, at my wife's um, hospital and people and then people are always going, nurse! And they just keep walking. And they're like, she's an ignorant bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or you're an assumptive asshole. <laughs> she's got a doctor that took eight years. She's not in the yeah. to be called a nurse. She's just gone, fuck off. I'm not doing that. And to work had to work twice as fucking hard as her male counterparts <laughs> to get to the fucking position she's in as well. Yeah, so she's not gonna no, she isn't gonna it's clean your to shitty bed. Yeah. <laughs> it was like there was I was there was a, somebody said to me, what happens? Because they were talking about like conspiracy twats at the moment with COVID. Somebody said do they, have oh my in, God. do they have them in hospitals? Like just start asking me because of what my wife does. And I said, you get if you if you get one and everyone else in the staff room knows, you're fucked. And they said, Well, I said, hey, you're fine. If you do a video, if you do like a TikTok like I did, but you did it like the other way, and you were in, you're fired. Like you're fired. If you if you if you deny really? you're fired. They you're gone. If you they see a lanyard, somebody catches your thing, everyone else and every other staff will report you, you will get fired. It's against your contract anyway. But wow. even if they even if they didn't, if you hadn't done that and you just went, I don't really believe in COVID, you're gonna be cleaning a lot of bum holes, like constantly. <laughs> they will ruin your <laughs> right. fucking life. Bum hole <laughs> duty for the next six months. <laughs> every staff member and everybody, every morbidly obese patient, it's, you're gonna find out it's yours. Yep. You know, he he needs to transfer. Does he? Yeah. Really bad. <laughs> 
who's helping me? Everyone else is really busy, Sheila. So, anyway, and he shit himself. Have a great day. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. I love you've that. You've ruined your own fucking life. Oh, any other thing? Because well, you yeah. had that. You had those doctors in America uh, in the early stages of it mm-hmm. that were like, no, 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 and, they, and and you know openly denying COVID is this deadly and all this sort of stuff. And you're like, what the fuck? You are, you of all people yeah. should know. And it's, the health system over there does nothing about it. Mm. Yeah, it's weird. They've, they're taking freedom of speech way too far in America. It's, <laughs> it's, it's almost just like you can just have a whimsical thought and just broadcast <laughs> yeah. it, even from your yeah. standing as a professional in that industry. How many times I've said to people recently as well, yeah, no, it's not freedom from consequences. And they go, what? You can say... Uh, I hate I hate black people. They're really lazy, and they yeah, they go right. But someone could punch you in the face for that. Yeah, yeah. Why would they do that? Free speech. Yeah, you can say what you want. Yeah. It just doesn't mean anyone has to accept it. Yeah. <laughs> they might just kick you to pieces because that's fun. But you're right, though. It's the same with vaping. Like, like doctors should be held accountable when yeah. we officially get to the truth one day or whatever. There should be some accountability for all the naysaying scientists or yeah, exactly. who's paid off to say whatever. You know, there has to be some accountability, or else what's the point? Well, that, and that's the thing that you've got here in Australia is you've got people at, at the TGA, and you've got the, the the Cancer Council in Australia <laughs> is anti vaping. It's like, are you are you what the fuck Weirdly, is wrong we- with you? So we don't, because you know your council council because it actually came up. We were t- I was talking about last week on the show. Um, is like it, it is like like almost like a part of the government. Whereas over here, um, Cancer Research UK is totally away. They were one of the first organisations to say this works. Like fuck yeah. We knew that um, the NRT has a five percent hit rate even if you want to stop it'll only work one in 20 times and we and they we and one of the first people to say the research is here this is 10 times more effective there's a 50 percent chance you'll quit if you use vaping and now it's been published by the british medical council and uh, public health england which is this doesn't work like if you want prescribed patches you can have them but we know it isn't as effective as this, which is a yeah. fucking accolade just to go, yeah, fuck it. Because the difference is we have to pay, taxpayers have to pay for cancer patients. So we want to take here. Che- yeah, we just want to make it cheaper. Fuck that. Yeah. Don't use and that. That's, then. And that's what's nuts about our government's decision is, you know, when they're, when they're doing the whole committee thing and they're taking submissions from the public, we're like, Royal College of Physicians, hello, look at the NHS over there. Look how pro vaping they go. They go, oh, nah, but they're, you know, it's a diff- different, you know, different country, different <laughs> culture, different systems. And you're like, fucking bullshit. Everything that we have, all of the systems in Australia, we're all pinched from the fucking Westminster. You know, it's like the whole government system, the health system, it's all modeled off the same fucking thing. How are you that blind? And they, oh, New Zealand's pro vaping. Yeah, but nah, different, different country. Are you f- what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Really, it's got like quite similar weather. I mean, they've got bigger mountains and stuff. We're all humans. Well, we did that. Identical in so many fucking ways. It's ridiculous how the government just denies that. Oh no, they're not a good example. What do you? What? what? Oh no, we'll follow the US. Royal College of Physicians. No one would ever go. Yeah, but those guys have got a bad track record. They just, they just swerve it. They just don't. I, I like. Well, we need to do our own research. Yesterday, when we found yeah, out, yeah, we need to we need to we need to, we need to do our own study. Check it. That's, that's literally the joy of science. <laughs> Actually, that is a completely that, worldwide. That is the perfect response to you know America recently when they've gone yeah, but is COVID dangerous? They go yeah, there's a file here. There's the French one. There's a the German one. There's a space the British one. They go yeah, let's run the same experiments. What for? You don't need to. They're here. They filmed them. Watch it on a DVD. No. They even found out yesterday, we found out that our COVID response in the UK was inherently racist, which I always thought was quite good. They went, why didn't we go with what they did in South Korea? Because we kind of, it's a good comparison. Population density is quite good. And basically, the UK government went, they won't wear masks. That was saved. Why? That was, then, yeah, that was saved. That was our the, scientific advice. They're not, they're not Korean. What? Like, what the fuck? 
It's like English people don't have ears and a nose. Yeah. So I can't <laughs> put a mask on. No, but they won't put a mask on. Oh, how, 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 how would it stay on their face? Me. They haven't They haven't got ears. They, no, they have. No, they could. Just banned. Nah, they'd never go for that. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. What if we Banana. shut everything? Nah, they'll never fall for that. They're fucking mental. A few people today have said to me, uh, yeah, but how do they know what it was going to do? Just look at the telly. <laughs> There's like people dying in Italy and China. Look at that. That. Look at that. <sighs> Different. <clears throat> anyway, I think we're going to have to let everybody go, but you can stay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Just me. We're going to close this yeah, 11, 11 o'clock here now. We'll, we'll yeah, start losing people. Uh, any, anything coming up? What have you got coming up? What are your next couple of videos, Sam? Uh, what have I got? What have I got? Uh, well, I just posted a little uh, linked video, a little borrow bridge. Posted that um, earlier today for you guys, uh, last night for the Aussies. Um, today I'm going to do a Patreon bog, so I don't actually think I'll be recording anything brand new. But um, the stuff that will be coming up, I uh, got the Legend 2, the Aegis Legend 2 from yeah. Geek Fate. That finally got to me. That's one thing that has happened with the, the slowdown is everything just takes longer to get yeah, to me. Yeah. So that's that finally turned up the this other day. So that's kind of a nice little mod though. So nice and solid, isn't it? I actually like the the look of this one a lot more yeah. than um, the original uh, legend. I think it's been it feels like it's slimmed down and I like this lock button. I like the, the tactile oh, or right. lock I think, button. I think I'm the only fucker who broke that. I broke mine. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Broken it already. No, I did. I broke. I, I, I broke the old version. I love a physical version. switch, though. I love a physical switch. I think Everybody yeah. said it was um, unbreakable, and my brain went, "Yeah, we'll see." And I said, "No, I break yeah. it." I think I dropped the last one off my drone from about fifteen meters, and that that broke it. Yeah, I hit the bottom. That's why I hit it. You hit it at the right angle at the bottom of the battery cap, and it was fucked. That's why I did. Yeah, anyway. yeah. So I do the Aegis Legend. Uh, got that new mod from um, the rear from uh, who is it? Aspire, oh, uh, oh, I think, think it is. Yeah, yeah. Aspire's yeah. rear. That's, I quite like that. That's supposed to be uh, shockproof as well. Bit, isn't of, it? bit of suede. Bit of suede. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> got to do that. That. Um, what is it? The rat? Uh, not oh, the wrath. Wrath? Yeah. Wrath. The, the mis misspelt wrath. With the claw marks in. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a good RDA, actually. Vape's really nice. Yeah. So that's coming up. Um, what, I'm just looking around here. Oh, I've got the torch. That torch um, yeah, we RTA. That earlier, yeah. <laughs> it's just hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> is it really cloudy? Oh, it's wide open. Um, it actually, as ridiculous as the lights that flash on here, it, <laughs> as dumb as that is, it actually vapes really, really well. Yeah. Um, me and Grim yeah. set it up in our live build stream, and it, it vapes really well. The flavor is fucking nice, and it's can got you, good smooth airflow. So can you stop the? Can you stop that? You can't. That's the thing. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> there's no stealth mode. I don't know whether they're going to include a set of black O-ring because I feel like if they put black O-rings over the the bottom, which is where the LEDs are, then it wouldn't come through. And so maybe that maybe they'll do that for the final retail version because you can't turn it off; they're just that's in good, there. That's a good idea. Um, but yeah, that was one thing I was like, "Well, it's a bit daft if you don't want to have a fucking light show happening because they will change color and flash at you. It looks like a fucking Christmas tree on in your mouth." Yeah. So, could you imagine that doing that during like a really like you know just say you it was a bit dark and you popped outside for a like vape in with the like you, well i was thinking yeah. for like with like i don't know your granddad's just died and you take your nan outside just for a chat just because he's a bit upset and you go well you know he was a really great but wow banana. <laughs> don't worry about that i'm just saying he's a really good guy <laughs> really sad he's gone want, want that rooty noise like that fan rda had as well. <laughs> <laughs> like the kazoo oh that was ridiculous the kazoo and the lights <laughs> every day <laughs> On those lines. No, there's um, there's been some good stuff coming out. Really like that Nico RTA that uh, I reviewed last week. That's that's very nice from um, Aspire. They've done a fucking good job on that. Aspire, um, so yeah, that's, that's Aspire doing that great prestige job. range yeah. that they've they've been doing. They've been kind of collaborating with some people and doing some really good stuff. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's what I can see initially in front of me. Um, Lot, we've got to do some live stuff. stuff as well. Yeah, mm. you, so your your queue's sorted. You're not worried about slowdown. <laughs> no, I mean, it's been kind of nice. A little bit of s sort of slower 
trickle because it means it's just easy to get on top of stuff. But there's definitely been a drop in the amount of products. I think there's just been a drop in the amount of crap as well, yeah. but, which is good. There's yeah. a lot less just, we need another one of these. This is really similar to that. Yeah. If um, if Expo uh, the return returns this year because we managed to get rid of COVID or we I don't know we'll be on like Neapolitan COVID by then, but it'll be harmless. Are you, are you would you come over if you get the invite? If if I can if I can leave the country, yeah. Sure. That's, the big thing is is um, Dubai is happening because Dubai was supposed to have me over in um, it was going to be June of last year and then right. they right. had to obviously can their thing. Um, and they've gone ahead with it. I think it's booked for September of this year. Um, and I was like, I'd love to come. And they were like, you know, we'd love to still have you. But what's the, the big finale? Really shut. Are they going to kick a woman and a homosexual to death? Is that the big finale on the Dubai <laughs> Dubai one? <laughs> They're really loving people. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just let women drive. Finally, you can drive. <laughs> I really like drive. the fact they were like Accolade. progression. Fuck off. Impression. Um, yeah, Dubai I got was one place where they were fucking went through my bags in the uh, uh, Dubai airport and oh, there's this fucking dude there and I was like, I was really grumpy. I'd been on the plane for 14 hours and I was like, you should probably keep your mouth shut rather than getting fucking mouthy and lippy with this bloke in the Dubai I was, I was really lippy in Morocco. We got trapped back for like three hours and there was this really sc- like really kind of fucking pervy uh, security guy and who's going to go through my wife's like undercrackers just just for no reason we just got there like yeah. from the uk it was like way higher security we landed and he was like can i go through your bag and, yeah. I went, and then i was just in a really shitty mood and i was like don't go through her pants go through my pants and i opened my bag and <laughs> threw it at him. and he was like i don't want to go through your pants yeah go on here we go look at them and then he just told us to fuck off i was just in a really yeah how can we have got anything, dickhead? We literally just got it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if um, I don't think our border's going to open. They were supposed to open in October, and then because they've fucking bungled the vaccine rollout, they're like, yeah, it's probably not going to happen until the end of the year now. Um, mm. So when, when's it going to happen? They're like, don't know. They can't <sighs> even tell us when they think the borders will open. Um, so yeah, it's going to be next year, I think, before I'm even allowed out. You know, I'm grounded, sorry, guys, grounded. <laughs> yeah. Well... Mum said I can't come out and play. Yeah, but it's for, ultimately for the best, you know. For the best yeah. Ultimately. Well, I mean, if they if we get this vaccine rolled out, and then you know we can start. They're talking about letting really people fast, that have been vaccinated yeah. travel. Um, but you know, being in my thirties, I'm on the the last on the last bunch to get fucking vaccinated. Yeah. Um, so who knows? Probably next. Are you year. the same age as but, Richard? How old are you? <laughs> I'm thirty. Well, thirty three next month. Fuck you! I'm forty next month. John's had both oh, his jabs. Happy birthday. <laughs> I've had I've had one jab. Yeah, he's had his I've got my I've had tomorrow. one jab. My first his first tomorrow. jab. Nice. I've had my first jab. But I think the second one's gonna be faster because luckily we're nailing people with the Indian variants. Yeah. yeah. I, I had yeah. the American one. I had the uh, what's it called? Moderna. I just turned up and she oh. went she's the nurse said, Do you mind what what vaccine is? Give a fuck. I'm not a scientist. I don't care. <laughs> it's nothing to do with me. Whatever you've got. What, and what, I said, what, what would she? What would happen if you'd have said, "Yeah, I do care." Oh, uh, you just leave and you get a cancel. Oh, right. Then she, she was. Well, I was just in full twat mode. I'm like a. I'm like someone's dad making jokes. She went, uh, "Do you understand the side effects?" And I went, "Yeah." Can you just write? Can you just write single malt scotch like under treatment? And she went, <laughs> "Don't you wish?" I was like, "Why are you joking?" She's right there. Uh, and sign it at the end. I'm not joking. <laughs> Put it on there. My wife's in the car park. Well, I don't want to, but it's there. So I've taken the paracetamol. I need the scotch. Let's go. Bang. Yeah. She went, do you want a sticker? Yes, I fucking do. Yeah. My wife said, how'd you get a sticker? Stiff pineapple, please. <laughs> I fucking asked for a sticker because I'm a child. Why do they have Is it like giving blood? You get a cookie what? as well or a glass of orange juice at the end. <laughs> No, you just have to sit and stare at a wall. It was really weird. We were all sat they're in talking like a... about paying people. They're paying people in America. Yeah, they are. They're get... and they're entering. They've got the a lottery. They're yeah. entering with a prize draw to not die and win a car. It's like the fucking. I saw thing. that. I saw that there was a chick who won the. I can't remember whether it was. Maybe it was one of the states that started with them, like Michigan or something. And yeah. this chick won like a fucking million dollars or something. It goes into. I'm like so American. Like, how can we get them to go and get jabbed? 
Will you go in the draw to win a million bucks? Well, oh, fucking, I'll do it. It's <laughs> mad, isn't it? Like, Mike, I've got a friend. About, how about not dying? <laughs> yeah, I've got a friend who's an ICU nurse in California, and the difference between what we hear and what's happening is so off the charts, to- totally different. She said to me the other day, oh, "I'm having a really bad day," and I was like, "And I was like, oh shit, sorry." And she said um, she she'd had to put uh, a 33 year old. Um, lady in an induced coma and like they had to do the Ooh. like high you know like uh, uh, you know talk to her family on the iPad type thing and she said that. Uh-huh. And, and then she's going I will wake up won't I and she's going yep and it's like fuck <laughs> and, and all over the news it's like yeah we're nailing it going, you're not I know you're not because I, I'm speaking to people yeah. where Texas is just going we shot it did you <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, it's really, really weird. Right, I'm going to get what we're really doing. Need to, uh, we need to go. We need to, we need to just up. go and use just that nick.org.uk and I'll chuck some nerds in your packet. <laughs> do. We'll wrap it up. It's yeah. midnight. Uh, Cheers for coming on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheers, dickheads. <laughs> uh, oh, God, I forgot how to turn it off. It's the big red button, isn't it?